time. Woo. We're live. It's a good idea, though, Bo. <laughs> hey, everybody. How are you? Holy cow. Oh, my God. Let's give our... <laughs> yeah, let's we give ourselves a round of applause. So, yeah. For, uh, wow. I, I don't know if you can tell, but Coming this, is, in hot. this is a whole lot of human beings in this comic yeah. shop right now. Um, we started... We, we know we needed one or two people to help us with the stream, and we asked 14 of them. So, uh, because, well... This is way more fun the more people we cram into this room. Um, it's been a weekend. The power has gone out many oh, times. God. Um, Made a glorious return just in time. Yep. Well, just in time is arguable. Uh, <laughs> yeah. but shout out to Nate Moss for allowing us to ring out customers using a uh, mobile hotspot what? through Hot PayPal hotspot? in the dark. Uh, shout out to those customers who selected their Warhammer miniatures by flashlight. And uh, it was anyways, really, it was uh, nice. Thanks, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bo still selecting more hammer miniatures by flashlight. In the background. Um, real quick, um, just let us know if uh, there's any audio audio issues. Yeah, can anybody hear my funny uh, funny jokes? They did. The chat is filled with laughter. Okay. Um, but yeah. All right. Let us know if there's anything cool. there we can we can tweak for you. Sounds good. Um. But well, I don't know if it sounds good. Right, it right. Like That's the trash. question. If it's, it does it sound good? good. We don't know. All right. Sound so, is crisp. <laughs> well, if the sound is crisp, crisp. then I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, I Those don't know if everybody noticed, but we bought a whole bunch of equipment to do this better yep. this time. Yeah. And uh, we ordered we, it off the internet and then put it in the basement and opened all of the equipment one hour before the stream yeah. started. And so, got it set up yeah. uh, just now. So Sean Clark, Kyle Wells, Nick Kratzis... Assembled the studio in the middle of the shop. Mm -hmm. And Bo. Um, yeah, and Bo. He leveled that And the tripod. rest of us um, drank Miller Light and watched. Uh, ben watched. Good times. ben yeah. Uncles on YouTube.com says, You sound good. Haven't heard any jokes this yet. This marks the Ooh. first. Ooh, this is good. Ben. That was good. <laughs> that was good. Is this really how you want to start this? Your <laughs> yeah. inaugural time not using your wife's Facebook account to be on yep. the now. <laughs> All right. Um, Comments coming in hot already. <laughs> All right. um, so the chat is ready to go. Yeah. So here's how this is going to work this time. Some items, we're just going to pull a winner. And if your name gets pulled for that item, your name will be typed into the chat. Yeah. When you respond that you are here in the chat, we will make sure that that item gets earmarked and is here for you to pick at the shop. Then sometimes we'll say this is a pick a prize item, which will be right. one of the really big, really expensive prizes in some cases, uh, and there will be a list of those. <laughs> some of them are just packs of gold. Some are just physically large. Yeah, some of them uh, are a pen from the hot game Warhammer oh, City. Um, yeah. uh, but is there a list of those prizes? Oh, boy, is there? Let me check. You say that in such a way. <laughs> it's in the email. Let me check. Yeah. Uh, give, me, my laptop, give me so. one second here. Let me get that list for you. Um, there it is. I got the list. We have a list of prizes. Yes. Okay. Are we going to be able the to show the yes. folks at home that list? Uh, so in a, in a, yes. In I can, moment. I can get that, um, probably here in a moment. You're doing a bang up job, though. Uh, I feel let's see. That let's you can see. Do this. Just give me one. Tell a couple more jokes. Uh, and that was all of them. Oh. And Uncle's went and made me self count. Well, you know what? Or, or just continue. I, uh, uh, Tell us how the, the raffle works again. Yeah, um, so we have oh a plethora of items that we are going to place right here, and then whoever is manning the chat over on that computer will then type the name of that item into the chat, and then people can respond in the chat if their name is called in said chat by saying, I'm here. Okay. And if they say that in the chat, we will know that they were there, and they can have that the item. insane. You have to be in the chat to get said item. Then sometimes there will be an option to pick a prize from a list that Nick will make materialize on your screen very soon. I'm trying. Right now there's like huge letters. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, there's something interesting going on. What text editor are you using? The just OBS overlay. Great. It's uh, hmm. Sean typed the whole thing in Wingdings, so it's... Yeah. <laughs> Wingdings 2, thank you very much. It's, yeah. it's technically a list. <laughs> I'm using this trackpad no. that I'm like, oh, I'm slow with oh, it. Is that what's happening? Well, that's just part of Guys, the Guys, we learn something every time issue. we do one of these, uh, okay. these raffles on stream. 
which hopefully this marks well it's been fun but i think maybe not maybe i think going forward we're gonna do raffles in store oh god Uh, exciting yeah so instead of being like, hey, you got to be in the chat, we're going to be like, hey, you got to be in this your comic book what shop. What I wanted, uh, that's not going to claim your items. List. Can you put it on the other side? I want, well, I can move this, you know. Hey, can do a little tweak. Can you win more than once? Can you question. win more than once? Yes, you can win more than once. You can win a pick a prize one time. That's fair. Sounds fair, yeah. yeah. Which shouldn't be that big of a deal, because you get to pick which prize you get, so... You get that once, but you can win as many of the. We should have come up with a name for them, but the uh, hey, you're just getting this. The, yeah. <laughs> the other prizes, Calvin says, trademark. The sand, um, the vanilla, the. Don't, don't the pre selected prizes. Do we have one that makes them not sound bad. Yeah. The, the base. The base. The, the, co- the, how about the, the core, core prizes. The core, core prizes. prizes. The core prizes. There, there you go. go. Yeah. Yeah. Rick Remender's recommended reading roster. Well, I have a list, but it's like probably very small. I couldn't quite get it uh, set up how I wanted, but it is a list there. Can I the could, I could the read the list. See the list. I hope if their TV is big enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's HD enough. You're an inverted panoramic. Are we even streaming at like 4K? Sa- like Sarah says movies? the okayest yeah. prizes. Yeah, it could be the okayest prizes. 4K fonts going on. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna rotate people in pretty uh, pretty quickly. Um, everybody who's helping us run this chat, all 47 of the people in the room right now, also found out how we're doing the prizes at the same time you at home did. Yep. Uh, so I don't see the problem. So see how long this thing stays on the rails. Um, oh, I made it real tiny. Okay. Our goal is to give away as much stuff as possible with this little confusion about who got said stuff. Yeah. Um, it's ambitious, but uh, I think I think we can do it. I yeah. The plan. So right. the list will get more visible as it gets smaller. Oh. So it's sort of like this is it, it's yeah. like a um, it's kind of like a fun challenge. You know, you get early pick on the list, but it's a little more tricky to see yeah. to read you the gotta, list. You gotta put that extra work in. Right. Um, I can't see okay. the chat right now, so I'm just imagining this is like only Ben Uncles. Right? Um, and ben, Uncles ben Uncles said he can see that it exists. Mm-hmm. Dan Chen had said the list is readable. All right. All right. I trust Dan. Boom. And Ben for that. I trust them both. <laughs> um, um, all right. Yeah. But we could always um, we could always give a. Uh, well, if we want to, we could always give a quick like rundown at the top of things of the of the big prizes. Yeah, why don't you read the list and remind okay. me what the big prizes <laughs> yeah. are? Well, so the big one of the biggest, certainly perhaps the heaviest, Full Metal Alchemist complete complete box set. I'm gonna put these on. Stream. Put them on. Yeah, let's give a let's give a once over. Yeah. You know, showing off. How many books is that? Uh, it is volumes one through twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. This contains books. a handle. Got a handle for when you need to take all twenty-seven volumes with you. You will need a wheelbarrow. Uh, it's I think got a poster in it as well. It does. God, I can't read the chat. It's Looks like it has a bonus novel, the ties that bind. Then we got the Why the Last Man omnibus. This is a great story right here. Solid series. Yep. Brian K. Vaughn, Cleveland Zone. Good then, stuff. Dead. Oh, oh no! Oh, go what? ahead. Deadpool Classic Omnibus Volume One. Never Another very one. heavy item. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the only, uh, to my knowledge, the only collected volume you can read Gail Simone's Agent X in, which uh, is close to my heart. Nice. I kept those issues. I gave all of my issues except for Agent X and Mike Carey's Unwritten, and like four other things to the shop. Yeah. Hmm. When we uh, when we opened. Then we got Dark Knight Returns, M- Mafex action figure. This is, Maf- is that how you say it? Yeah, Mafex. Mafex action uh, figure. This is a $100 Batman This is toy. a great, great Batman toy. It's old Batman. It's angry Batman. Yeah. It is Extra sli- wide Batman. slightly torn at the top Batman. Oh. Um, but just the box. And it's got the cape that you can like post. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's got a great nice. cape in there. Um, I love Batman's that figure. That's warm. just a great mm-hmm. figure. Then we got the Sarah Complete. Or collected edition, Sarah, uh, signed by Garth Ennis. Very cool. Nice little TKO. Yeah, TKO, TKO does book. awesome stuff. And yeah. this is like 
one of the best Garth Ennis books I've read in a long, long time. This is the individual issues. Comes with a book plate signed by Garth Ennis. Garth, Garth Ennis, writer of a Batman book coming soon. Mm -hmm. Just going to keep saying that because it's a real thing and I kind of can't believe it. And we um, got... In the grim dark future, the Warhammer 40k Space Marine Battle Force box. If you want to get started or expand your Space Marine force, would you say that's almost a full army right there? I don't know how many points that would it's be. It's a lot it's of like, points of space. Yeah, right I mean, now. at least to get a okay. game. Yeah, yeah, that's There are people game. in the chat who will get angry at me if I estimate how many points that is. Yeah, and I get tell us in the chat. Guess how many? Sure. Guess exactly yes, how many this points. This is more than you enough to play the game. This maximize. is like a very good starter set for. Yeah. I mean, you're most of the way there. Then we got the Savage Worlds Rifts box set. Oh, man. All right, Rifts. Really good RPG box set. Uh, Nick and I grew up playing Savage. Rifts, which a much worse rule system. Terrible. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that online, but the Palladium system leaves some things to be desired. The it's Savage World system is great. Yeah. And, so. it, and it has the Rifts, you know... Uh, world, which is the best part of that game. If I you think. want, also, Nick and I were in a band that printed t-shirts that were <laughs> no one got that just said riffs in the same yeah. font. Uh, yeah. We'll throw and it one has, of those in for It you. has the cool riffs logo. Yeah. Um, there was one dude oh, in a show in like Baltimore who, got it. who was like, this is fucking awesome. Those are, and, those, uh, those shirts, thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Those shirts may or may not be, be in our basement of the store here, so, uh, Help us clear that out. Um, nice. Then we've got uh, the Kaldheim theme booster display. This nice. This is an entire uh, box, whole box. Of Kaldheim theme boosters. That's a lot of cards. Oh, yeah. All right. Then we got <laughs> the magic <laughs> pre constructed <laughs> bundle. This Four challenger a, decks and two commander stuff. decks. Oh, wow. This oh, is all of this is stuff. together. Thank you to Sean. <laughs> These challenger decks are great. They are. Oh, oh man. man. Um, nice. Elliot, story advocate for standard. Yep. Um, you could play in a standard turn with any of these. Uh, the These are sell for 32 bucks in the store. Uh, if you were to part out the cards in this, you could sell some of these decks for like 80 bucks. Um, and then Commander, the format du jour of Superscript Comics and Games. Yeah. We have two decks. Uh, this is, I mean... Probably like two hundred and fifty dollars worth of magic cards, probably. Yeah, I mean, and these are great bases. Or it's to like a bunch build of out great decks to get I mean, they're, started. They're yeah. solid on their own, but I mean, you can do some stuff with yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then we the final big prize, the pendulum, the board game from Stonemeyer Games. Um, now I'm really curious about this one because. It looks like it has some RTS elements to it. So it has like a real time. Yeah, yeah. there is a, a real time portion of the game, um, which yeah seems really intriguing to me. Yeah. But this is a you know Stone Meyer. They always put out quality. Oh, solid products. production across yeah, the board. Yeah, always great much. components. Mm -hmm. Excellent game. Plays from what two to four. Um, two to five. It includes one purple timer, one green timer, <laughs> and one black timer. Um, I mean, we got 150 resource cubes. That what more can cubes. you say? Yeah. One to five yeah. players actually. <laughs> so it maxes out of five. So you got that nice odd number to mix things up. Uh, That's lots of cubes. Twelve yeah. and up. Age is twelve and up. Age is twelve and up. Mm -hmm. What's the play time? Six, yeah. 60, to 60 to 90 minutes. All right. Mm -hmm. Pretty That's good. Pretty good. Solid jam length. Um, someone, Dan Chenin asks, are those shirts going to be the lock and key of this stream? I don't understand that reference. No, we're not going to weak value. I don't understand what that means. Um, yeah. I, uh, I don't know what that would mean. I, uh, I would like to think that our... Our band is as popular as Stephen King's son, Hank Hill. Um, <laughs> but... Friend of the store. Friend of the store. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Who? Hank Hill? Yeah, Hank Hill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spent some time in the That was the joke. Hank Hill is a cartoon mm -hmm. character. Uh, Jonah thanks, Hill. Thanks, Bo. Also, Jonah Hill. <laughs> Not enough. Um, yeah, so those are the big prizes. So, yeah. Do we have any questions at home? Uh, Nick, about any of the uh, there's a Nick, Boyer, a Nick Boyer in the chat. What's lock and key? Uh, which I, I think don't we understand partially this line covered. Of Let's give something away. God damn it! All right, so we are going to start off with. Uh, I showed you the back of the head. It's the, front. the xenomorph head. All yes. right, so um, it'll be typed into the chat. 
We've got X Men Mutant Insurrection. This is the. Sean's the shaking his head. Am I doing this wrong? No, you're doing oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have just pulled and entered the first name into the chat. Yes. All right. <laughs> so, um, oh, Mutant Insurrection. Uh, this is the uh, living card game, right? It is not the living no. card no? game. This is a we board might have game. that later. A you were tricked. Well, this oh. is a card game that does not live. Oh, okay. <laughs> the dead uh, card this is a okay. dead card yeah. game. No, this is a uh, this is a a card based game. Oh, okay. Um, it's a fine distinction. If you are familiar with uh, Nick, what is the game it most resembles? Sorry. Is it? Does it? It's got some cards. I don't know. I've never played that game. Oh um, no, it is modeled after another Fantasy Flight game that I'm. Oh. On. Another one of the almost Lovecraft. Oh games. boy. Oh. Eldritch Horror? Eldritch Horror. Oh. Elder Sign. Elder, Elder Sign. 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 Okay, okay. Ah, got it in six. Got hey! hey. Yeah. <laughs> we have a confirmation from the winner who, who says, oh, neat, Scott Prutton. Scott Prutton. <laughs> Mutant Ooh. Insurrection is winner. yours. Brad, you want to tell Excellent. us what the next hey, uh, raffle item it. is? Right. Just throw it well, the next it. item I don't oh, think okay. a lot of people say, around oh, here have heard about. Oh. It. Oh. Um, it's, it's a book. It's got a great story. It's got action. She's right. It's got drama. It's got suspense. Horror, both mundane and supernatural. It's a story about a family, about a house, and what some houses have, their oh. locks <laughs> and their keys. I've never heard. Of it. I know not a lot of people Who's heard the about the creative this book? team behind this book. Oh, well, um, I believe the author of this book is Joe Hill, maybe son of uh, you know Star Stephen King. Show? Some people have heard of him. Some people haven't. Stephen I King? know not many people around here have heard of this book. I highly recommend it. It's good stuff. Is that a comic? It is a comic. Okay. Some people even call them graphic does novels. Does his dad write comics? His dad does not. He is an author, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> so many nerds just got angry that you got, said that. I got a little <laughs> upset. I just kept I just, my mouth but shut. But no one, no one shouted, he does write comics. Everyone's like, that's not true. It's yeah. not true. Why is he lying, <laughs> lying to <laughs> everybody? He's written, he's written the Dark Tower comic. Um, <laughs> I mean, Talvin is losing his mind every time I say something incorrect. Just uh. off screen. Joe Hill, author of the Dark Tower comic. Uh, that's not true yeah, at all. Not even that's close. Um, anybody? Oh, you wrote the best and underrated book. Yep. Six. It's no, Tokyo in. Drift only. Tokyo um, Drift's underrated. Tokyo I cannot wait till we... Those of the cars that hunt people, right? All right, we have confirmation on the winner. Alexander Carfaults. Hey, Alex! I won. What did I win? And, key. and you I don't think you were in the last raffle, so you might be the only person who has not won a copy of Lock and Key yet. <laughs> Excellent book. How many times is this going to happen, folks? We can't escape. Time is a flat <laughs> circle. What is up next? What is up next? Oh, we wow. have the best chess set ever. I mean, that really <laughs> speaks for itself. Right yeah. There. You play chess. You're actually the right person to talk about this. You do chess puzzles. I just got back into chess, and I have been enjoying the chess puzzles. They're, I mean, I, I usually play online for the chess puzzles because, you know, it's easy access. They set them up. But they're, they're fun little games. I mean, I actually play some of the chess puzzles with my wife because she can appreciate them just figuring out that one little component as opposed to, like, That's cool that that's a family you know, activity. Yeah, because, I mean, like, can chess is great, but in? it's fun to have somebody that you can play with. It's, it's like, a, like a similar skill level, playing the same amount of time. You get, like, oh, more Did your daughter play out. chess at all? I've tried. Yeah, oh. she's uh, a little bit well, resistant to uh, can... learning new games. Sometimes, is it just because so. you school her all the time. I, I mean, can't I, turn off that killer instinct. I try to provide a little bit of mercy, but yeah, it can be brutal sometimes. Brad Brenders, merciful father. <laughs> <laughs> um, if nothing else, how are we doing on the best chess set ever? Um, I'm just waiting on something slightly weird just happened with the chat. I typed in a name and it didn't oh. appear. Uh oh. Folks at home, can you hear anything we're saying right now? Are yeah, they, I think everything there is fine. Just okay. the chat is somehow. We're uh, we're using uh, we're using something called Restream to stream out through both YouTube and Facebook simultaneously. Just type it in again. So there's like we're contending with multiple delays here. So if it seems like we're not responding to things in the chat, uh, that may just be due to the inherent latency um, between those two platforms, or or something may have gone terribly wrong. We don't know. Uh, we are also uh, not announcing the names. We're typing the names into the chat. That is and true. And then we're yeah. announcing when the people yeah. claim the To be clear, the prize. if you were and confused that, <laughs> that we've just been talking about stuff. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And the reason we're doing that is because the audio because delays. Because of the latency, yes. yes. If yes. we were, 
we found when we did the first stream, if we said people's names out loud, uh, you know, we'd be three items later and someone, the well, first person we called would be like, oh, I'm here. And, uh, um, and we'd feel bad. So I, uh, we do have confirmation on this because I see him in the chat, even though I don't know where my comment on the name went. Anyway, the winner. Comment, so oh, okay. Okay, cool. So it's Matthew March. Matthew March wins the chess set. Chess set. Matthew March. By the way, uh, off camera, someone is marking these down who got them, right? Because I'm yes, not. Yes, I believe Christine is. Christine Frank, the heart of the Ghostbusters. Um, Seth H said, maybe add some fanfare to the name drawing. You want to do a little pizzazz with that? Give it a little. <laughs> give it a little like I don't know. Like, Hold on, uh, let me make like, sure I only uh, have one. Did that? Whoa, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Um, was that enough? I think I'm already here performing been, for I, you. I, I think we have reached uh, the point in the evening where we should at least attempt a pick a prize before maybe cycling some people onto the Okay. The, yeah. uh, the tables pick a because prize. we got a lot of people here. Uh, so we're going to pull a name and you get to pick a prize from the list, which you can totally read according to Ben Uncles and Dan Shannon. There we go. Okay. Yep. I can he whoever in this shop has the sound <laughs> on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to drop into a K-hole uh, here in a second. Uh. <laughs> Just a bonus checking since I ship you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. mm. <laughs> well. All right. Yeah. We're all pizzazzed out, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yep. That was it. You guys couldn't <laughs> handle all the possessed. That's why no. I keep it contained. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the intensity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which which pick a prize would you pick, Brad? If I were to pick a if prize? If you were to pick a prize. I mean, the Full Metal Alchemist is pretty exciting. That's a pretty great series. I've never actually gotten around to reading it, but I've watched both of the shows okay. and enjoyed it a lot. So that one's pretty great. Um, let's see. Uh, I mean, that Pendulum game sounds really interesting. Pendulum seems very cool. I'd like to check that out. Um, what about you, Nick? What would you take? Uh, that's a good question. I would maybe take Pendulum. Or, uh, I don't know, I might take the Why Omnibus, just because I mean, that's a great Man's story. I my favorite comics ever. And, yeah. I think I have either all of that and or most of it. And you could use it for, like, self-defense. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I would I would probably take the copy of Sarah signed by uh, yeah. Garth Ennis because, right. well, we I like going Garth Ennis a lot. I have several here. things signed by him already. Had more oh, yeah. Action. Go on my Garth Ennis wall. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I know that person. Oh, yeah. By the way, worth noting that some people who bought a lot of stuff in the store and got a lot of raffle tickets are in the shop tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is possible for they them may to win. win stuff. Yeah. It is not rigged in any way, shape, or form. We this is a person in the chat are... and not in the store. Okay. Yes. We got a woo from the chat. <laughs> but not from the person. Not from the That's person. That's exciting. Wanna... Building some yeah. excitement. Yeah. What's that? Good to get a woo. Yeah. yeah. Get a woo. Maybe. We like woos. We like enthusiasm. I'm going to get my phone out and text said person. Okay. Do we have the winner? <laughs> It's uh, Megan Brenders Woo! says, hey, Brad, pick a thing. <laughs> Megan giving the pick to her husband who is sitting right here. Right. So uh, you listed when you're hypothetical, what <laughs> yeah. would you choose? You listed like five Now things. is your moment. Yeah. So yeah. now you have you to. You listed do everything oh, over there. Yeah. Hey, we're going to shut the stream down because Brad has to something. This is the least something. exciting way for the first pick a prize to go that yeah. I could possibly have imagined. Well, I think I'm going to have to stick with the uh, first thing I said. I'm going to have to go with that full medal. Oh my nice. god. Nice. Oh, wow. right. Hell yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Nice. Wow. Uh, that has been stuff. in the shop longer can, than the crew has. Yeah. Right. Megan can, Brenders, um, you won Full Metal Alchemist. We're going to get a photo of Brad with this before he leaves tonight and frame can it. Can we hang it? Yeah. I'm going to be uncles. I'm going to be sad when it's gone. Ben, ben didn't know that uh Maybe. casual John Wick had been purchased. Um, oh. He said he didn't know who we were anymore and I had to, you had to break the news to him. Man. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Brad, can you maybe bring that every few months for just visitation? Yeah, like, let us touch yeah. it? Or I don't want you guys to miss it just, too much. Um, um, yeah. 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 I could carry this thing anywhere. That's you could. I, yeah. could. I mean, this could be your carry-on bag. Yeah. Um, 
Cool. All right, we're going to rotate some folks out real quick. Uh, we don't have a system for this, so I'm just going to say the names of other people. And uh, me and Brad are going to get up, and we are going to add in Sean Clark and uh, Kyle Wells. Because Kyle's got some stuff that very generously added to the, uh, the proceedings at the last moment that is real cool. And dude didn't have to do that. So Also, real quick, I'll say... Oh. Kyle is the stand-in recipient for if we pull a Steve Almeida. That is true. Kyle is the designated yeah. caller. All right. Just so Brad and I say that up front. Go drink more off camera. <laughs> I will remain. Ben Uncle says he felt like a friend had moved away when he found out oh, Casual okay. John Wick has no more. Oh. I understand. It is, it is Although, I, you know, I hope oh, that yeah. the Casual yeah, John Wick went to a good home. I think oh, we're going to need somebody John to Wick. hand us prizes as well. If, uh, yeah, we'll need a prize That'd handler. Hello, everyone. And uh, hey. looks like you will hey. be the, yeah. I'm the picker. You're the picker. These have already is, won. Kyle, I, uh, this, I love um, your shirt, they, by the way. Thank you. They did I, not I'm going for a dinosaur so I, I also had to see my jacket. Oh. No, I didn't, actually. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's got uh, pizza slices and dinosaurs. It's really psychedelic. Oh, hell yeah. That's That's perfect. Well, got something coming up here. This is Marvel Select Punisher. Welcome back, Frank. Oh, nice. Uh, Marvel Select, hardcover. Uh, absolutely classic storyline. Okay. Uh, Going to be calling this out in the Marvel the chat Selects now. are always good. Yes, there's a name in the chat, so oh, yeah. check on that. Kyle's Fantastic let us Rob. know if you're in the chat. No, I, I'm actually unfamiliar. Maybe you could uh, enlighten me a little bit, I want to say this is what the Netflix series is based off of a little bit. It is I could be. Back Frank Ron. Yeah. I would agree with that. Th this will sound mm -hmm. a little mean, but he kind of looks like Billy Baldwin on the cover. Just a smidge. <laughs> he uses models. Uh, All the Baldwin. Billy, Billy Baldwin. Uh, yeah, probably Billy Baldwin. <laughs> I'm sorry, Billy Baldwin. Thank you, Dan. Here. He's one of the lesser Baldwins. So he'll get over Hey, oh, yeah. he's here. We got, a, we got a winner. It's a Bill Davidson. Bill Davidson. Congratulations, Bill. Nice. A wonderful Punisher run for you, Bill. Beautiful cover, nice hardback. Yeah, nice. Definitely. Tell Going. Billy Baldwin we said what's up. Going to a beautiful home. <laughs> uh, uh, we can do the Bendis pile. Yeah. That's mine. Yeah, yeah we'll give it away. Are. That's from me. Yeah. yeah. Now, this one is uh, very graciously donated by Kyle Wells, the lovely so, uh, person to my left here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and explain it. Um, hey, Bill I says have, he's looking forward to reading the punch. We've got Guardians number one, by, uh, signed by Brian Michael Bendis. Um, I wow. went and met him at a meet and greet, and he signed some stuff for me. Um, then we have number seven. I just like the cover, so I wanted it signed. And then the fun piece to this is all five issues of Spider-Man of number one signed by him. Um, got to talk about Avengers Disassembled when I met him, and it was just an awesome meet and greet, and I'm excited to give this away to a new happy home. That's so awesome. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, really yeah, thank great. you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, so thank you yeah. for contributing um, that, yeah. But yeah, congratulations to whoever wins this. That's awesome. Wow. Hey, we Joel, got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got it. <laughs> Who do we got? Joel, J Joel or Janice Montgomery. Joel or yeah. Janice Montgomery. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Montgomery. That's awesome. Yeah. No, you it's, really scored big. They this is probably one of my favorite like, Spider Man stories, so I'm. <laughs> <laughs> they gave a woot and a yay. And then woot? Many yay. exclamation yay. points. Well, so. Wow. Yep. That's a lot of woots and yays. Dan right. Shannon says, thanks for donating those, Kyle. Yeah. I agree. We've got another right. one from me, actually. Woo. So there's a bit going on here. Um, we have all of. House of Ten and Powers of Ten. Um, Such a good X Men. All six issues of each. Uh, congratulations to everyone get that. And then, first issue of Hickman's X Men Run. It's a variant cover. So, whoever gets this, again, congratulations. Yeah, that's a two per store variant. Yep. I think. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So one of the uh, one of the rarer ones for X Men One here. Uh, yeah. And it's the premier variant specifically. Yeah, this is what got me excited about X Men and even comics in general again. So, which oh, yeah. X Men run is this? Sorry, uh, I missed it. Hickman's run. Oh, okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it awesome. got me super excited about it. And yeah, yeah. This no, it's good. a great. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. If anybody's awesome looking hey. into like the modern X Men setting, the I'm, I'm giving you the starting world. point. Yeah, <laughs> well, this is the, the best way. This is going to Elaine James. <laughs> Elaine James. Yes. Elaine Congratulations. James. Congratulations. Really great. Elaine. Wow. Oh. <laughs> that was excellent throw. Well done. Uh, we're all killing it in gym class. 
Do another uh, another another random one uh, or uh, off of this one side more? of the table. That stuff's all pick a prize. Yeah. So we're, yeah, uh, another random one or pick a yeah, prize. Yeah, well, I think one more random sure. one, right? Um, yeah. Right. Cool, cool. What do we got? I'm gonna wait to pull it and put it. We in. got uh, the Manhattan Project Deluxe Edition. I've actually never read this. I never have either. Oh no! You know, it's uh, put out by Image Pretty Comics. Uh, it has this yeah, sure. right. great oh, this black and right? white and no, red C. cover. Uh, I think oh that's yeah, what yeah, it yeah, is. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It presumably <laughs> has. I know he's. Words. I know he's watching. Uh, Rogue Science. Rogue Science. Okay. I like that immediately Oh, this is Manhattan Project. Oh, it's, it's written by Hickman, so I feel like I would enjoy. We're on this. a Hickman kick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What just happened? Yes, they're, we're an extremely impressive bunch. We're we're super impressive over yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, you know, Indeed. Manhattan's know. a pretty fun place. I hey. went to a bar there that if we you have uh, pizza, you'd we get got a free beer. Oh, sorry. We got a winner. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, it's also. Oh my oh. god. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> All right. Jesus Christ. I think Sean's done. <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. Sean's had. What just happened? <laughs> Please stand by for time. The balls are always funny. <laughs> is the stream still on? Somebody put up the picture of the I, uh... <laughs> the drunk cameraman. <laughs> you guys the first one was actually a pratfall, but the getting back so, up and falling so down well, who, who, not a pratfall. Who won fall. this, actually? Uh, the person who won it, it's also their birthday. Happy birthday. It's Gino. To Gino. Who needs to work on their handwriting. I fell because of Gino's birthday. Right, you got, you got a uh, oh. Uh, oh, I, to I, a birthday I guess party? we have the... I thought it said Crinnell. There you go. Criminal? <laughs> criminal? No, just criminal. I mean, the, that's. I, mean, I have childlike handwriting, but Gino, come on. It's on? not the best. Um, but we, I'm, I do I think Gino actually apologized could... for his handwriting earlier today. Yeah. So I... that's true. In all fairness. Then is it time for uh, pick a prize? Okay. Let's pull another. Ooh. Let's pull another Ooh. one for the make it a good. Give this one some pizzazz as the chest, the ch chat. Make requests. it dramatic. We still got the Why the Last Man omnibus, uh, the uh, Space Marine Battle Force Pendulum signed wow. Sarah by Garth Ennis. Did you do some sleight of hand? <laughs> they wrote on the wrong yeah, side of the cool. ticket. That still counts. Well, though. it's the yeah. Magic Constructive <laughs> I mean, Bundle, uh, the Theme Boosters. If, lots if you were of stuff to, up for if you were to pick something off of there, what would it be? We're gonna do to oh, what Brad did to you. If you were to pick a prize. Mm. Pendulum's actually a really tempting prospect for me. I really like Stonemaier games okay. in general. Um, and uh, real-time games, I think, are pretty fascinating. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Like, anything with, like, a kind of uh, untraditional turn structure, I, I mean, I generally I, think is interesting. I do have a Starcraft sleeve going on in my one arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I am a fan of real-time games. It also has Dana asymmetric Kate? rules, no? if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah. Secret life of so it's kind of interesting, depending on which of the four no, factions no. or characters you're playing as, you actually have kind of, like, different ways to interact yeah. with the board. And uh, I think slightly different timing. That's actually why the sand timers are colored. Okay. Because some of them have different run times than other sand timers. What were the colors of the sand timers again? Uh, I think purple was one of them. Purple Purple, black, orange, and white, if I'm not mistaken. Ages 12 and up, and 60 to 90 minutes. Wow, nice. Kyle killed me. <laughs> everyone's I gonna I'm doing good by just getting the colors. Everyone's going to have to recite the, yeah. Do you have the timer going? Uh, the timer is going in my mind here. Is it? Uh, the official I just want to say for the record, my back hurts from falling. Yeah, did you like fall? Yeah, what <laughs> happens? Honestly, the second time, I literally just couldn't get traction on the floor, and I tried to stand up, and my legs just went right out from under In all me. fairness, I think whoever put it in the floor just did a bad job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I installed the floor. <laughs> Are you, are you proud of your work? It was Sean. Floors? Uh, if anybody knows where I can get a job, <laughs> preferably not installing floors, uh, uh, Sean oh, Clark at gmail.com. Get a haircut. All right, I think we Damn, may... Really I think we need to pull another one. I just think just it's been a about a minute, right? It's been a minute. Yeah, no problem. I think so. I think I got to pull another one for the pick a prize. All right, upward and onward. I think if anything, I'd want Why the Last Man. I mean, that's a great series. Honestly... Maybe the essential Vaughn. M maybe. Uh, over over Saga? <sighs> yeah. Run away. The, only, the only reason I would maybe put Y above it is because Y is wrapped while Saga is that's still fair. technically okay. in progress. And like that's very a very devil's advocate argument, but Saga <laughs> technically has time to ruin itself at the end like Lost. <laughs> I, I wasn't hey. going to go that yeah, far. Yeah, no, there, but, there it I is. Mean, oh, said it. <laughs> we know. 
Uh, that's true. You never hear anybody talk about Lost now, do you? Yeah. Nope. No, right. not at all. Yeah. I'll talk about Lost. The ending of Lost? It's your favorite TV ending, right, Nick? Look, I mean, no, it's not. End of the prisoner. But I still love it. I still love it. I think the first like three seasons are fantastic. It's not terrible. I, it's just it it didn't stick the dude, landing they and it no, they could well, mash the whole kind time. Of on sticking the ending, like arguably Game of Thrones suffered it, from the it's, same problem. It's the trend well, of it's disappointing endings in TV. It starts yes. that that trend. Yeah. Never well, ever. I mean that show was also. I mean the last few seasons it was going in some crazy. Yeah. It was going in some crazy places. How were they gonna? But they made what it worse by tied, saying they had planned it. They yeah. they, well, they planned to upset everyone. To be yeah. Disappointed. Well, that that <laughs> which they I guess, did. I mean, good for them for thinking ahead. I just my big thing with that show, uh, in addition to just I liked a lot of, you know, I enjoyed watching it. It like I feel like it wasn't afraid to like do things that had big consequences to the yes. characters yeah. and like totally change what the show was about, kind of, which I thought was interesting. It, for, for television, to watch. it's definitely groundbreaking for yeah. what it does, and for such a huge ensemble cast, it's very impressive. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we're, we're, about yeah, we're still yeah, talking, we're talking about, about loss. Superscriptohio.com. You can just send them directly loss. to me. It's fine. And they cast the I'd rather talk about Frasier over show. Cheers. From what? <laughs> oh, God. Uh -oh. oh, Lord. Of our heroes. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, that one hurts. <laughs> That's a correct next, reaction. Next All right, I think shows. we got a... <laughs> I think we got to pull another one. The first season's right. amazing. We'll pull in another. <laughs> <laughs> is this one of the big ones again? Save the yeah. cheerleaders, save the world. Take a prize. So many Listen, dramatic the looks. The guy's already invincible. <laughs> Why does he think he's going to die when he's like, did you guys see <laughs> We might have. Reynolds, uh, you gotta get over. Reynolds, you want to sit down and ha <laughs> vent about this on the microphone? Yeah. Boyer wants you guys to stop talking about TV shows. Welcome to Heroes. What would Boyer like us to talk about? What does Nick Boyer want to hear? Well, hear? Nick Boyer said that Sean better be okay enough to play Necromunda on on. He, I, I, I have to go home and build three more models after this stream. <laughs> and he needs a pile cushion because he just broke his tailbone. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very injured. You're gonna have to help me carry all my two, terrain in tomorrow. Two hundred to play, right? Yes. yes. There, there we go. I failed my injury. Get someone else to roll the dice for you. The Heroes mm -hmm. hardcover is over there on the 50% off sale. <laughs> Seth H. says, I've still only seen the first season of Heroes. That's all you that's, you've, that's you've seen everything. Downhill from there. You all right. You've there. apparently Perfect. seen Heroes. <laughs> Before Jeff Loeb was disgraced, too. Isn't he, like, canceled now? Isn't Jeff Loeb, like, on the wrong side? Didn't he get yelled at? I think he's else? just made controversial opinions more than anything. I don't know. I'm, I'm, must for Loeb. I'm old. I'm not <laughs> allowed to say old. mean things back then. I think I saw it on the Facebook. Mm. No. The Facebook on the Facebook. Facebook. Not That's not true. It's the most accurate so source of information on the internet. I think we got to pull yet another. Wow. Man. Wow. Pick a, a, a prize. Well. Pick, pick a prize. Dry. Remember, please check the chat for the names check being called chat. or pulled. Uh, we're not reading Another that person that wrote on the delay. back. Do we want to? Do you want to give a rundown? Rule of some breaker. Of the stuff again? Oh yeah. So the, uh, to remind you to our chat? audience, this is the pick a prize. We have the signed Garth Ennis Sarah. We've got uh, Pendulum. We have Pendulum by Sean <laughs> Martin. Uh, Warhammer. Oh, uh, we do. We Space do have we got, a winner. We got oh, we got a winner. We got a winner. This is uh, Calvin Dow. Calvin. Calvin. Congratulations. In the house. Oh yeah, he's here. Oh wow. <laughs> we look. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Yeah, Megan did run. Yeah, no, Megan. Megan technically did win the first one. Brad was just here to claim it. True, Calvin. A little rigged, Calvin is here with us. <laughs> Calvin's here with us. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't have a hand cam. It so does say Calvin. Calvin. So Cal Calvin, Calvin is picking for pick a prize. Calvin, why'd you write your name in the back of the ticket? <laughs> why'd you do yeah. that? He simply said you can write it on either side. I don't think that's true. Wow. That's a very specific. Why did you ask that? Boom. Why was even a query? Calvin is like names. pondering what he wants. What's Calvin gonna pick? All right, All right. Magic. Okay. Calvin going with the pile of magic stuff. All right. He needs the more decks. of it. Gonna get to get into standard. Oh yeah. It's got two new commander decks as well. See that on Friday I don't night. Need to put a post it on that one. Oh though, yeah. Right? What's that? 
Mind it, everybody, we, uh, we That's have true. our uh, wizard scheduled yeah. or sanctioned events again oh, on Friday uh, night. Uh, Fridays and Tuesdays. That's right. Uh, check out our, our event page at superscriptohio.com or our Facebook page to uh, get caught up on exactly what magic events are happening, what days. We've got some uh, modern coming up, some drafts. Drafts on uh, Fridays, usually. Yep. Uh, Fridays some Tuesday. casual commander. Popper on Tuesday. Yeah, Popper. You can play Lightning Bolt with Popper. You can uh, play Lightning, lightning Bolt. Bolt. Do have Lightning Bolt for Popper. <laughs> Dude. I love lightning bolt. <laughs> what that means. Uh, All right. What's next? Yeah, want to get some new people? Yeah. How about we get go? some do, new? Do you want to rotate it out, folks? Yeah. I think Christine Ooh. wants to step on Who down. Wants to step in, Josh. Yeah. yeah there we go. Go. So Alrighty. be careful getting up this time. Oh yes, I will try my best. <laughs> Thank you for uh, picking me back up. All right. <laughs> Appreciate it. Of course. I can keep doing the, this part, I but can, I can swap out. okay. So, oh god. Hey everybody. Hey Josh. Uh, I just had this moment of panic that I'm like, wait, did I, is Josh, Josh is, that's his name, right? That's Josh? Did I get that right? I have not prepared anything for this. Yeah, I haven't learned anyone's name. Yeah. What is this store called again? Where are we? Josh, Josh here and I are confused. Christine had a moment of panic where she wasn't sure what my name was. Everything got far away and. It's true. I wasn't, I said Josh, but then I'm like, wait, was that Josh? We've all known, a lot of us have known each other long enough to the point where there was a period of our lives where we unironically refer to each other by our MySpace names in person. Yeah. You had different um, MySpace names? It, it was a dark time. I didn't have a I didn't MySpace. have a MySpace either, I didn't yeah. Either. I didn't play I didn't that get game. Facebook till 2011. Probably well, yeah. and then I last updated it in 2013, so. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know how to, like, this will be the hardest part of, like, the internet to explain to people. 10 years, 20 years from now. I did work. participate in the Cloverfield uh, ARG, and they all had fake MySpace pages, though. So we should probably be pulling some prize Yeah, games. why don't we grab a prize? Calvin, as much pizzazz as you can muster now that we're saying pizzazz has worked its way into our vocabulary. Yeah, yeah so this uh, is one of the prizes. I picked it up. Well said, Christine. Pile. Ooh, Detective Comics. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm a huge Batman fan, so this is a great prize. I'm a pretty insane list of it is. On it, too. it is. Kevin Smith wrote a story in there. Other people wrote stories in there. We've got there's Brian Michael Bendis, uh, Kelly Sue DeConnick, Matt Fraction, Klaus Jansen, Tom King, Scott uh, Snyder, Scott James yeah, Tynan, Dan Mora from Friend uh, of the Once Store. In, Once in Future. Greg Rucka. Ooh, Grant Morrison and Kevin Nolan. Ivan Reese. Chip Hunter, Zdarsky. Hunter Bullets fans. Eduardo Riso has a story in here. There's so many friends of the store in here. Wishful That's thinking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, can we can we manifest Kevin Smith being a friend of the store? That'd be really cool. Sure. Well, yeah. Yeah. We've been in. Several of us have been in his comic shop. See? We, uh, he is yeah, we stopped there on tour once. Yeah, that makes sense. If I was over there. Um, too, so, what's the uh, significance of uh, number 1027? It's deluxe. First appearance, I believe, right? Thought yeah, first appearance from... of Batman in Detective Comics. Who is Batman? His parents are dead. Oh, okay. I've heard of this. He's a very sad man who doesn't have parents, but he has a lot of money. He dresses like a bat and drives a bat. It's kind of like Howard Hughes if he Gino got says he's somehow here. even more. Well, there's some lag and, and then also some latency some on the thing. Who's your favorite uh, Batman actor? Adam West. Adam West. That's the only right answer. That is. Oh, my Nate too. is with Gino. They are watching together. Aww. So oh, that's romantic. That's so All fun. right. Well, Nate Moss, you have won the deluxe hardcover edition of Batman comic or Batman Detective Comics 1027. Uh, can we get someone to write this down? Yeah, with a fancy name off. Fancy. Oh, we had oh, red stripe here this whole the, time? Uh, yeah, <laughs> here's the, uh, right. the, the You're things over here. Drinking, 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 drinking Bud Light Lime. I got Coke Zero. I got red stripe. Cheers. I brought summer beer. It's <laughs> summer sale. This oh. is the summer sale. Also, Nick, you were going to wear a Hawaiian shirt tonight, and you didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is true. It wouldn't really fit the weather we have. All right. Yeah, it's for Nate Moss. Let's get another prize, Christine. Yeah. Um, 
Let's pick something someone at the table can talk about. I don't know. Um, we've had a request for uh, Josh, if you could get up on the mic, or actually jo check to make sure the switch is still on. Oh, Nick muted Josh. No, I know. I'm just making it. I turned Josh that one down because uh, Sean, Sean is uh, Sean, Sean from Jacks. Uh, oh. oh. No, that was perfect. So we've got Batman and the Outsiders. I know this is actually one of Nick's favorites. It's, it's a very good run. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Uh, Nick, you're here. You want to talk about Batman and the Outsiders since you've been reading it? No? Nick's eating pizza. Nick's got a mouthful of pizza. It's real <laughs> good. Less yeah. like Black Lightning? TV show Black Lightning? Hill. I haven't read it. It's got My Katana. Yeah. But the soul takes the, the swords of the people she kills. Can anybody hear Calvin? Calvin's mic working? She's in the hit film Suicide Squad. It's true. Fair enough. All right, so who has won volume one of Batman and the Outsiders? I'm not sure. On that you, Elliot's at the computer. I am holding the book. I'm I forgot what my job was. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is to look pretty and, and Vogue. I don't um, know what you brought me here for. The beer. Somebody wasn't sitting in this seat, and I just didn't want it to be empty. I just wanted to be a part of something. And so I figured, you know. So it's probably hurt? been a little over a year, probably, what, a year and two months since we've been on your podcast? Hey, that's true. So yeah. Josh has a comics podcast called Comics Generally. I do. And there's a superscript before we were open episode, and I kind of want to go back. Yeah, we should listen and to listen that. Listen to yeah. it because we it was like January 2020. <laughs> yeah, it was mere months maybe. before. Yeah. Really? We were so yeah. Let's revisit that. But Ian Walker, Ian Walker has won. All right, yeah. Volume One: yeah. Batman yeah. and the Ian Outsiders. Walker. Let's get another prize going. And uh, but yeah. There's two episodes of um, Superscript, uh, like, like, we're starting a comic book shop that we recorded in yeah, like advance. Ooh, Superscript issue zero. It's yeah. true, yeah. It's like, a, it's like the Ash Can story. edition. Totally. Is this pick a prize? No. That, that can just go. Uh, are we looking for a pick a prize? No, we're trying to separate. None of those are pick a prize. No, nothing you're holding is pick a prize. Um, but, yeah, this um, is exciting. All all right, so we have. Cyberpunk well, you guys talk about red. It. So it's an RPG, Cyberpunk Red. Interesting. Based now on the old Cyberpunk 2020 from the 80s, and I think oh, Mike okay. Smith actually wrote that one too. Who wrote the original Cyberpunk 2020? Well, we're in the second year of 2020, so. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's 2020. I think part two. I believe Red takes place in 2040. So Okay. In between uh, original Cyberpunk 2020 and uh, the video game 2077. Oh, nice. And unlike the video game, this book works. <laughs> it's true. That is you a can low blow, but well deserved. It, you can read all the you pages and game. you can play the game with your friends. Um, this is a great prize um, because you get to get your friends involved and you can now gather if you're vaccinated. How sweet is that? That's got to feel yeah. really good for the people that are yeah. super into this type of it, gaming. It's very like, good. I played yes. the Jumpstart kit. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know yeah, that. It was really good. And by played, I mean I read it during quarantine. But it was really cool. It's it's supposed to be a great system. Real quick, while we're waiting um, for to see if anybody responds or their, our first potential winner responds, um, I do want to revisit that we did all those episodes of your podcast yeah. uh, beforehand. Man, I we should we should go listen back to those and then do and one yes. now. Yeah, I want because I want to see how you feel. Not only was it before the store out. opened, but it was before the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. We had and I no remember idea that the, was on the, the horizon. The second one was None. recorded live at Wizard World. Yes, a um, yeah. week before lockdown. Which which was like definitely Wizard World was like a time where things had started to get strange. Like there was not a lot of people there. It was kind of yeah. empty. Um, and we, I think I make some joke about, like, I mean, there's a global pandemic, so things might get weird on that podcast. Yeah, boy, who would have thought? Yeah. yeah. Now probably does not sound great. Yeah. Uh, so could be worse. Let's, uh, comics let's pull generally, another you can find it on Spotify. Uh, uh, yeah, anywhere you can get yeah, podcasts. It should so be, should if you want to go back and listen to those part. Superscript episodes, I recommend going back and listening to lots of episodes. Um, so Josh brought, has some amazing guests. On this podcast. Yeah, we've had Daniel Warren Johnson. I had uh, John Lehman from Chew. Uh, I had a third. I'm trying to think of who the third one is. I'm completely blanking on it now. But the Daniel Warren Johnson one's probably one of my favorite ones. He's a really cool dude to talk to. Yeah, yeah. So I would hope so. I have listened to a bunch of episodes. I enjoy it. 
Uh, I usually put on a podcast when I'm like washing the dishes or doing something boring and, and right. I have entertainment. It's like I'm in the room. Yeah, it's that's my go to for work all day. It's, I work in a shipping office, so it's just that's what keeps me sane is just listening to nerds talk about comics or comedy. Very nice. That's how to do it. I used to have a job where I copied and pasted it all day. I did oh a my similar God. similar <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that turns into a very uh, like drone. I was gonna joke that we'll say if he actually claims to, it to, to kind of like Scott like focus Prutton wins again. Right, in Cyberpunk Ooh. Red <laughs> Tabletop <laughs> RPG. Um, <laughs> Nick Boyer in all caps. All he does is win. Uh, not <laughs> wrong. Uh, I feel like we're gonna it's give. It's time for a pick a prize. I feel like way. we're gonna give Scott a complex. I'm worried. <laughs> Scott has won the first two <laughs> miniatures <laughs> events in the store. <laughs> Feel like there's a target painted on his back. It's gonna be the most, rel like, the biggest relief in the world when Scott finally loses at something. Get an extra five VP for beating Scott. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> strutting through here like he's Peter Parker in Spider-Man Three. Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's do pick, do, a do pick a prize, and then we'll shuffle some people out. Okay. Well, we can do a couple. Pick we can do yeah. whatever. All right. Pick a prize. Um. All right. So. Let's see here. Pick a prize. I'm typing in one. You can definitely tell I'm like the nerd. Like. The other kind of nerd of the group. Christine where, is um, the traffic cop here at Super Scrape. It's true. Comics like I'm games. like the ratio isn't right. We've it, it's <laughs> getting too heavy we on the, to on the non pick a prize. <laughs> <laughs> I misspelled Angelo's name, and I know like I did. The Thanos of the prize table. You're gonna yeah. even. You're gonna yeah, even this it's, out. It's true. This it's ratio true. is gonna go to a flat line. Too. I would. If <laughs> I, yeah. That's fantastic. It's true. Yeah, usually during ordering, we're all sitting there like, oh, that sounds cool. How many should we get? And I'm like, one. <laughs> She's like, like we, how many do we need? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, Ellie's like, we need like six copies of that trade paperback. I'm like, two. We need two. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we do need six copies of the trade paperback. That's true. Two. Look how many copies of all what's, we ever yeah, need. Yeah, but look how many copies of what's Michael you sold. Yo, it's Department true. of Truth, ten copies. Who was right? Boom. This guy. Oh, we good. still have like five over there. So. That's because we had to reorder it because we <laughs> sold through that. Okay. What? <laughs> um, this is well, why we need a soundboard. I just got owned by Elliot. I could, I could just hit a button and go. I oh, yeah. want you to know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Maybe there's a case to be made that we didn't need as many copies of whatever DCs? the most re well no deceased is fine we'll sell through this uh i would say most uh actually, i don't i don't know what this says mom and dad are fighting i do too <laughs> actually no i don't yeah oh god your handwriting is terrible <laughs> um there's some handwriting issues over there isn't there always so <laughs> i encourage everyone who um fills out a a Raffle ticket and future raffles, make it legible. Take a Put your first class. and last name. <laughs> like, if you are, if you have a very common name and you just put your last initial, chances are we name. might get the wrong one. Like, yeah. if you, you put uh, Josh F. How many Josh Fs are watching right now? Probably at least two. At least, I was going to say three, but yeah, yeah. two is probably, again, mm -hmm. more conservative. Etiquette, probably accurate. etiquette. Back Gino Choffee wins the 40K box. <laughs> Oh, oh God! We don't want to. Right. I thought we I were cheering. Gino. But Gino. Congrats, Gino. Yay! As long as can I? Is that I can cheer? So Gino is that cool? has now won <laughs> Gino's only ticket prize. But yeah, I heard I heard a very aggressive boo. So I didn't know if I should be on this Gino ticket. Either or not. says Gino or like Roanoke in Cyrillic on the <laughs> side of this. I uh, I. Either way, we're cursed. Sanskrit. Yeah. What is that? Um. All right, uh, let's uh, shake up the Zeno. Gino, Gino says if we loved him, he would be here. Gino, you live down the street. You can just come over. It's Calvin is. We'll, is we'll, really we'll see how much you love us, Gino. Really mixing it up because we're gonna do yes, another pick a prize. We're gonna do another pick a prize because again, that nope. ratio, okay. it's, it's got to be right. <laughs> it's wild when you look at that xenomorph bucket, candy bucket. By the way, how less how not phallic it looks as a toy. I, well, I think it's because they made it for children. Yeah, I mean that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I it's still definitely. I don't know that cleared by Giger. I mean, <laughs> I don't think he had that in mind. So oddly, aliens. that it should look like a candy bucket. They, I mean, they exist. That xenomorph. Oh, it was solicited to show up not at Halloween we, time. It was like it. after. <laughs> it was going to show up in December. We're like, we still <laughs> oh, need it. Well, that's how you make a. Uh, you know, an interesting time. Easter is impending at that point. Yeah, true. So you do want to look out for your Easter. Yeah, you want to look out for your kids around Easter time. Yes, you want to try and. 
Yes, it's yeah, a holiday sure, exactly. involving I mean, eggs. Ma- Nick makes a good point. So, it, you know, I think we can still get them. If Mother's you need Day. a xenomorph, um, you know, bucket for Easter next year, I mean, get, get ahead of the game. I think you can actually also buy Hey, a Andrew Peterson, too, right? you've won a pick a prize. Andrew, <coughs> please pick from the remaining prizes. Andrew who? Why the last man goes to Andrew oh, that Peterson. Oh, such a good pick. I know this was a hot, hot item. So congrats. congrats I, let me just say also the Petersons have one of the best pull box. Well, they, the Petersons all pull, box pull box matches my taste. They read the books I think are good. Yeah, all of you know what? All of you have a good pull box. It's not it's the true. biggest, but it is the most like my own. Just saying. I'm not gonna touch that. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's do a random prize, guys. Anyway, I'm just gonna let that um, breathe. We love all our. No, 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 no. Let him sit in it. Let him sit in it. It's become a brisk. Just yeah. let, yeah, just let him feel it. I'm Never just trying not to spit all of this Bud Light line over the computer and Calvin. <laughs> okay, we can continue. I just wanted First to let him. Uh, I'm so glad that's on the internet. I just wanted uh, that roast to sit in the oven for a few more minutes. With the temperature off. It's good that we drink. Yo, just I'm, I'm so glad I got to experience that on camera with my husband. <laughs> was... Hey, Christine, do you want to pick one of the random prices? Uh, one of the random prices. Oh, uh, I love this. I, I'm still we, we mortified by the thing I said. We, we didn't. No. It should Ever. be a random one. Now. Random one. There we go. Thank you. You'd marry me again today. I would. You would. I would. But that was a special experience. <laughs> well, it's we we're all got to up, share together. We're coming up on our sixth anniversary, so yeah. I'm glad that. Congratulations. Yeah, it's yeah. coming up in J- June 20th. Well, so. You guys had a great wedding, too. I got yeah, to sit under a T Rex at your wedding. It's true. It we, was fantastic. We had our reception at the Museum of Natural History. It was fantastic. And so, Everdell is the next prize coming up. So, I have wanted to buy this game Woodland Creatures. Um, Very cute. I was gonna say, uh, I see a cute yep. owl friend There's on the frog. Yep. Friends of the store, the woodland creatures. <laughs> Um, all of them. <laughs> but, um, it's very highfalutin. Mm-hmm. But I have all, I have been wanting to buy this game. Um, I have not yet though, because you can play it one to four players. I like anything I can play by myself. Um, That's not the same. Uh, but no. ten and up, and there are cards and tiny woodland creatures, and you have to build a tree, and you can pick your cards out of a tree. I want to play this game too. Mm-hmm. It's got some very there cool. Is a it's one every award to it. You guys yeah. remember when Sean fell? We do. <laughs> so we couldn't get this game in for We're a really long time. So <laughs> it's exciting that this is back in stock. We also have an expansion. Oh, Megan stock. Brender says being drunk with dinosaurs was easily the best wedding I've ever been to. Thank Aww. you, Megan. Aww. Hasn't she been to her own? Yeah, didn't she go to her own wedding? Didn't she go to her own wedding? <laughs> <laughs> Brad, no point. comment from Megan or Brad. Brad, who is here. Brad, the best was the second best. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Yeah, this has a very like uh, like a homey vibe to it. Like yeah, a little mouse guard vibe. Justin Vaughn says, say "Woodland creature, creatures, friends of the store." I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. I said that. I see Christ- he Christine is said that. what I said. It sounds better when Justin says it. <laughs> A There's comment? a lot of talking over here that makes it hard to hear you. Is this a comment by you guys? <laughs> <laughs> How many times can we just put you in the barrel in this short segment, Elliot? I don't know. I'm just here typing. I'm just trying to get my job done. Yeah, Elliot's just typing. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, it has a very, like, uh, there was, a, like, Stardew Valley and those kind of games where it's, like, a little community and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It has, like, a very, like, earthy vibe to it. It looks really it cool. It does. Nick would like you to list the rewards on the front of the box, guys. Awards. Oh, awards. this has won so many awards. I'm going to – I don't uh, – Best New Game by Geek and Sundry, Paste Game of the Year, Vulture Best New Game of 2018, Nerds on Earth Best Game of 2018, Smithsonian.com Top Ten. And Bill games Davidson of has won this acclaimed game. Bill Davidson. Bill I saw Davidson. more awards. Yeah, there's so read. many awards, you guys. So seal, uh, the Dice Tower Seal of Approval, Golden Geek nominee. Gaming Award, South by Southwest nominee. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna finally, request that someone finally, replace me in the chat. Origins Award nominee. So many Whoever? awards. Congrats, right. Bill Davidson. I'll be back, Your family folks. Family is gonna be super excited about this. Bill Davidson, 
uh, was in today. Was oh, no kidding. Stage. That's awesome. Yeah. Last at the minute. Superscript Summer Sale. At the Summer what? Sale. This is what you get. You get prizes if you shop the Summer Sale. Get your tickets in at oh, the hey, Midnight Kyle. Kyle's here. Hello, everybody. What's up, man? Not much. How's it going? It's going. So, yeah. Woodland Creatures are friends of the store. That's what I heard. They oh, yeah, are. yeah. I just want to I confirm that. that. Okay. Quote. Every uh, Woodland Creature. That is next year's anniversary anniversary shirt. Ooh. And it's got to say Ooh. my name under is that this one quote. Good? Yeah, that one Woodland also Creatures, friend of the store, Christine Frank. She said it. Oh, God, those on camera. Oh, yeah, but next prize, we're doing a pick a prize, right? Oh, pick yeah. A prize? Pick a prize. Yeah, we're going to do a pick a prize. I'm, I'm a store owner. Congratulations. I'm just here. <laughs> All right, for pick a prize. So. What, what would you pick off this? Off, oh, of, off the I, slim yeah, pickings right. of what's I left, not, what would you go um, for? I have not gotten a chance to say what I would pick. So we've got I, Rift. We've got the Science I would Sarah. probably Ooh, actually pick Marvel Champions. Uh, and oh, really? The yeah. I mean, I picked the, the magic stuff. Oh, it comes with card sleeves for the, the, the cards Deadpool? for the set. Is with, it yep, yeah. heavily, heavily card-based card game, I'm guessing, then? Yeah, yeah. So it is a um, uh, living card game. Yeah. And so... Uh, oh, hey. We, uh, we have... We have a winner. We have a winner. We a Teresa Logan. Wrote uh, Tessa Logan on the... Tessa Logan. Wrote Tessa. Yeah. And wrote Tessa. She, she responded yeah. in the chat. All right, Tessa. 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 It is so, most of the uh, same what letters. What does Tessa pick? So yeah, yeah, Tessa, Tessa you, get pick? To, you get to pick a prize. Yeah, we still you get got to pick... Ritz. We still got a really good Deadpool collection. So true. Ooh, is it that is listed true. on the screen, like, what uh, is left? No? Is there I, I don't know. Wait, okay. do that? We've got Marvel Champions left. We've got Rift. Marvel Champions is not. Marvel Champion is a random. So we got Rift. I mean, they can pick it if they want. Yeah. Sorry, I've been, I've been. Uh, it's been a long night. I own this store. It's a pick a price. Okay. I'm trying for you. Um, we've got Batman. We've got Pendulum. We've got. It's a good Batman. Ages Friend 12 and up, 60 to 90 minutes, and oh. one to five players for Pendulum. Friend of the store, the Batman. That memorized. That is true, Bruce Wayne. Friend of the, the store and orphan. We've got the Omnibus still. Um, we Shout got out to orphans. Sarah signed by Garth Ennis. Looks really cool. Garth Ennis, I believe. Uh, she has picked Pendulum. Both parents. Cool. How long can you take play again, Kyle? Uh, 60 to 90 minutes. That's a that's a future length film. Yeah, that is. <laughs> Not including how long it's going to take you to learn how to play it. That's true. All it's right. like another movie. It's two movies. More Batman. More, we're giving away more Friend Batman. Story. Death, Death of the, of the family. family. If you like dead sidekicks, this is a story for you. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, they voted on that, right? They yeah, did. it was a vote. They yeah. established a one nine hundred. So when this story came out, they advertised that you could kill Robin. I don't know if that was verbatim the text of the ad, but basically they were telling you for the cost of a phone call that your parents would scream at you as though it was a forty nine ninety nine wrestling pay per view. You could vote on whether or not DC Comics would murder a child sidekick in Batman. And uh, I don't want to ruin the ending for you, but they voted in the way that you would expect. really tells you what happened. They they voted in the way that modern society, you would expect modern society to vote for the death of a child sidekick. Well, and sure, yeah, it wasn't a maiming in the family. This deluxe edition, including Ben Uncles, includes a lonely place of dying, which is a fantastic Batman story. That's true. Also about death. In fairness, Jason Todd yeah. was not the most like. Robin I the time. like Jason Todd. I do too. Jason Todd now, gets a bad rap. Yes, we like Jason Todd. Yes, like Jason, Todd now. Now. <laughs> Jason Todd was a scam, a young scam, uh, and he was just winner. stealing car tires, uh, and he didn't deserve Dan to be blown Shannon. up in a building. Dan Shannon. Congratulations. We've all stolen a car tire or two, that's and we're all still here. Also, Joker does some like weird political stuff in that. Oh story. yeah, yeah. He, he wears some. He uh, wears some stuff in it. Yeah, you, some unique see. clothing. You'll see. Oh, he does. Doesn't yeah, he? it's do. some Hugo Boss clothing. He does. It is not. It is not aged well. Slight spoilers for a. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Some Hugo Boss. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, I forgot um, about that Dan. part of the story though. But what a great way to put it. Some Hugo. Yeah. What do we? What do we have? Hugo Boss clothing. Hungry Ghosts. Okay. By Anthony Bourdain. I've been wanting to read this, but it's wrapped in plastic, so I haven't been able to open it. Um, he's done some really cool comics work. Uh, hey, I think hey, he did another book called Get Jiro for Vertigo which was really, really good. What? That was awesome. He did two of them. He did a, a sequel to it as well. But okay. this, I think, is uh, half graphic that. novel, half yeah. cookbook, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. There's so uh, yeah, it's good. got five okay. original recipes. Ooh, okay. Awesome. Um, and, no, cool. you know, we are I, I big them, fans like, of what? having um, <laughs> instructional comic books here in the store. So we've got two yeah. comic cookbooks at least. Yeah, I've definitely and seen then, a couple others um, besides this one. Growing big food. fan of Anthony Bourdain. So. Yeah. Hungry Ghost is yeah. great. Anthony Bourdain's great. And also, since you're making his... 
no, that's a dark joke. I'm not going to make it. Yeah. So yeah, the know, art in this is gorgeous. This cover, very Open beautiful. Uh, I'm a sucker for I the have dark, actually so never that. seen inside, but yeah. if it's anything like the cover, it's exciting because these are all wrapped in plastic. And Anthony was also a big, big fan of Cleveland as well, so if yes. he was around, I'm certain he would stop in this place if he was in town. Big fan of the West Side Market, well, for sure. Yeah. yeah. He did. He yeah. 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 Williams. yeah. That was a great episode. He, that's the one he walked around with P. Car with. he went to the yes. university as well. Mm-hmm. They also went to the Still old... Kind of Cincinnati, but the yeah. Twinkie factory. Yeah, they went to the old Twinkie factory, <laughs> and, and he, he actually tried some of the... The, the filling. I like how we both went for the same part yes. of that episode. Yeah. It's like a bookstore and or something then, now, um, right? Like... Or a book depository or something? It was. Now I think I think it's not that anymore. Cleveland's wild. Oh, it's the phone number. Yeah, it might be a school now. I I don't know. Someone in the chat will tell me. A Twinkie school. I went to I Twinkie one. University. That's I right. also cried when I, Anthony Bourdain died. Dan, Dan, yeah, I cried as well. That it messed I didn't me up. That, that one was upsetting. Yeah, Street, I was, I went, I was, so I was kind of shocked. Yeah. I, just I just remember thought my it heart was a sinking. Joke. James? He had a black belt in uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Okay. He also had a black belt in it. Brazilian he really, Jiu-Jitsu. He did. Yeah. Confidential. It's so good. If Bo wants to Kitchen Confidential is one of my favorite here, like bio. Yeah. Did you ever watch the short-lived uh, sitcom where Bradley Cooper played it? No Alvin one talks about that show. <laughs> Thank you. No one knows about that show. Yeah. I, I tried. He can't he hear me. Stuff. Well, he also did the... Hey, Bo, the, do you want to maybe join the chat since <laughs> maybe come over here? Take my Bradley Cooper also is a, hold a chef. This hungry ghost. <laughs> he's, a, he's a chef in real life. I yeah. always he's sound a, like a teacher. I'm he's sorry. He's also a rocker actor. I have he was a, a sort character. of, um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, <laughs> here you go. Would you like to speak to the class? Now we can, we can hear both halves of Calvin's conversation. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking eerily similar than it did before. Oh, That's true. It is I the same it. cover, Mr. same Anthony. wrapping, and every different, different holster. Very How's good. it going, Bo? You did well, you. Hanging in there. Excellent. We're having some fun on the on the chats here, having some drinks with our friends. Kyle, uh, Kevin, you and me. Yeah, 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 it's a great time. Yeah, we got about thirty seconds. That's it. Right. What do we have? Yeah, uh, we're we're running. Running. So wait, we're waiting. We're still, we're still waiting still for a name. We are still phone? waiting to pick someone for Hungry Ghosts. Yeah, there's um, some good stuff up there too. Is anyone copping to it, or what's happening? <laughs> copping to it. So we're not like looking up. <laughs> Maybe people are scared because it's a. We're not trying comic. to prosecute a crime. That's not my prize. Another case for the soundboard. Plus, I could play the Law and Order noise here. Could be like, um, we're not um, investing in a I crime. Say there there <laughs> is a, a dramatic need for a soundboard. That's what I'm we saying. Man. Thing. We were just going to get at By next three year, three, three more at once. By yeah. next year, I feel like we turn this raffle into a full on like morning zoo radio show, except we're giving away comics. Uh, we have like, a winner. Oh, friend of the store yes. Fr- who is that winner? Who uh, is it? Tim Nelson. Nice. Go Congratulations, Tim Nelson. Nelson. That. Sounds Watching like on a, Facebook. It sounds like a name a famous Hello. person would use as like a pseudonym to check into a hotel. Yeah, like their well, fake Tim name. Blake Nelson is also a famous. Yeah, we don't really like to mock the customers' names. No one's mocking. Last uh, year I said someone's name was similar to a sandwich, and it wasn't making fun then, and I had to explain that it was this analogy for the strength of the I name. A Not a lot of cultural sensitivity. <laughs> Why? I don't so understand. what are we uh, queuing up right now? Although he did make a good point um, that Tim Blake uh, Nelson is a famous actor, so that kind of screws that up. Grab bag, if you will. Lots of. Uh, Ooh. Oh my is god! That, is that all of the Ghostbusters? What's that? Is that all of the Ghostbusters there, Bo? Um, some people do not uh, consider not uh, Louis want anything Tully yet. part of the Ghostbusters, even though he did rock a pack in Ghostbusters Two. He's a um, member, and I'm honorary a, at least. But yeah, there's there's no Louis oh, Slimer? Tully. Slimer's a member of the Ghostbusters. Is that Zool? Uh, he's a member of the real Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah that's the same this, thing. This, the second movie is canon. Is it? Does the second movie have yeah, Ghostbusters? Is canon. Ghostbusters two. It, <laughs> no, Ghostbusters two is canon. The real Ghostbusters. I, I, Ghostbusters. I, I love it. Down. We need to do this. Are we having a Ghostbusters fight? Blonde Egon, not on my watch. Well, there is nothing wrong with Blonde Egon. Dude, he had the cream horn haircut. Ghostbusters is better than Ghostbusters too. Yeah, I'm they grayed him out. I'm saying it. Made it look like a pastry. Suit was nice. I'm not. Nobody's arguing. Extreme Ghostbusters, also great. I like Ghostbusters. Well, it's not too. the Ghostbusters with the monkey and the t- car that talks. That was the bad one. So, oh, funny story I, about I, the filmation Ghostbusters. Oh. As a kid, like uh, begged for a ghost. I had all the okay. Ghostbusters toys. I had the pack with the foam tube. I had the EKP meter. Everything. PKE, yeah. Yeah, I Elliot. still or messed Nick. the letters up after okay. all these years. Spelling is um, hard. So I beg for a Ghostbusters costume for that? Halloween. Do I have that right? It's the monkey. My mom comes home with the plastic yeah, mylar smock. Like 
I can't think of the manufacturer, it's, it's but they have like a real, you know like rememberable what? name, I not to be clearly. And it's well, just a plastic, <laughs> crummy <laughs> smock kind of with the picture of the Filmation Ghostbusters on it. And the mask that hurts your tongue? And a giant dumb hat that like, I don't think anyone in the show even wore, and I cried. Is it the yellow big coolie hat? Like the man in the yellow? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, no, they wore the cartoon. Yeah, so it was that costume, and I cried the entire day. They're talking about Ghostbusters too, to be more specific. No, they're talking about the Filmation. Yeah, there was a terrible Okay, old, okay. There was a terrible uh, old cartoon. They had to actually pay the film. Oh, it's a live action cartoon. one, right? Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was live action was and it was animated. That yeah, one was a terrible animated Columbia version. Columbia Pictures had to pay them to make the real Ghostbusters. I have, se- I have seen the live action one. That is a special Because the original name was like thing. Ghost Blasters they had, right? In case they couldn't uh, get the Ghost rights. Ghost Smashers. There yeah, we go. Ghost yeah. Smashers, yeah. Which I honestly think is cool. Uh, Defunct Land does an episode on that, actually. Yeah, I've seen that. That's a good. They yeah. do a lot of good episodes. Defunct Land. That show's really good. Defunct Land TV. Are, are either of you excited sure. for the new Ghostbusters movie that I believe is coming out oh, later this yeah. year? Afterlife? Yeah, Afterlife. I oh, want to be, Paul but... Rudd? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited because Paul Rudd's in it. Friend of the store, Paul Rudd. Well, no, but it's true. Friend All of the, the original store. Ghostbusters, and well, I mean, Ivan Reitman is, is, is his kid, so you, yeah. you got to back his play. But, but, but also, his movies are really good. He's a very mm-hmm. good filmmaker. I'm <laughs> curious. I like Ivan Jason Reitman. I like Paul Rudd. What else did Ivan Reitman's kid make? Up in the Air? Yeah, he's done a few things. Up in the Air is a fantastic movie that not a lot of people have seen. Written by Diablo Cody as well. I enjoy the work. Isn't that the one where they just cheat on each other and go on airplanes? Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's that's okay, a that's, that's a downer e- for me, but I don't cheat on anybody, so it's up to you. Um, <laughs> Do what you will. Specifically not on airplanes. What's that? Specifically, specifically not, not on, on airplanes. airplanes. No, yeah. I'm not high I'm not limber enough. I'm old, but um, the bathrooms are small. Um, they do have, you know, some planes have. Do they, do anybody, yeah. <laughs> anybody, anybody claim the, uh, the belly I, of Ghostbusters? I personally or? love where we're at right now. I think this is a great time, and I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, no, I don't think so. We should. Oh. Uh, as long as no one brings me the wrong Ghostbusters costume, yeah, this is, is going to go beautifully. Is there like a pile? Oh, I guess it's this. <laughs> we're we're just checking something really quick. It's a long name. They're sounding it out. Just give us a little time. It's true. Oh, they definitely are you questioning my public school education right now? <laughs> <laughs> you can win multiple. Nope. Uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, hit enter. These are fine. really cool pieces, though, these mini epics. They're cool. They're designed by Weta. Did you guys talk about that? I did not. We did oh, Weta, by Weta. Weta. Weta stuff is Who awesome. Who did the special effects for Lord, Lord of the Rings, Rings and The Hobbit, and also the Hobbit movies. movies the well. Halo 3 tra- commercial. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm not sure they're known for that, but. That's, that's uh, District plausible. 9 as well, I believe. They, they did, did the, do District yeah, 9. Yeah, they did District 9. Oh, I do love Fantastic District 9. That, yeah. that, that, is, that is a good movie. They're deal. talking about a that sequel, sequel again, Warcraft. huh? They did District Warcraft. 10. I think they did Chappie as well. Yeah, yeah that yeah. wasn't... Chappie's not good. Chappie's it looks guy. cool. It, like, visually, it's, <laughs> visually, it's entertaining. Uh, can, we, we have a winner for the Ghostbuster stuff. Oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, Ian Walker. Nice. Ian Walker. That's good, man. It's a strong Hello name. Hello again. Like a six gun, like well, western. He, they name. should be in a western. Yeah. Yeah. That is that is he a cool a cowboy name. Maybe like an English cowboy. There's, I'm sure that's a thing. There's always like in the cowboy movies. There's always like the, the English guy who's like the accountant. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Except English this Bob one's... from uh, Unforgiven. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we he go. Gets his ass beat though. Really does. Uh, well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> going all home. Yeah, the belief commercial for Halo Three is fantastic. Got a couple people talking about that. Nice. You got it. You got it. Yeah. You got it? yeah. Uh, even though I won't, it, well, I assume won a pick and pull. Can I still win a core prize? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I believe that is correct. Yes. You just can't you can win correct, one of right? each, I think so. or you can win multiple. I think you get indefinite, indefinite prizes. prizes. Random prizes. Yeah. Core prizes. Yeah. Yes. Core yeah. prizes. Yeah. Super script so. summer sale. Core prizes. Super script summer sale. Core prizes. Core prizes. What do we What do we have next coming up? What Someone do we have wanna, next? Are we doing a core prize or are we doing a pick yeah, and prize? Yeah. Who, who would like to sit next to me and pick names? It's not up to me. Yeah, which uh, which type of prize should we give we, away next? Are we trying to even it out? That one. Let's this go with that. What, what do we have? What, ew, what kind of game is this? We have this uh, pac- pac- oh, pac- or Pacal. This has a very like Legends of the Hidden Temple vibe going on right now. Two designers that both have the first name of Luca. Okay. <laughs> who was the singer of the they 80s live... hit 99 Luca? I was going to say that they live on the second floor. That's <laughs> Nana. Nana oh, did yes, love... I, you know, I'm Luca, you're right. Luke, Luca lived on the second floor. Abuse, the yeah, it's a very, apocalypse. very dark song. Nine, 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 <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not optimistic. This, this is no, really, it's yeah, really yeah. not. It's really good. <laughs> this is about exploring the jungle and discovering the path of the jungle. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds thought we were in a dark spot before. Not, now we're talking not, about Luca. <laughs> it says, are you ready for an adventurous race? Yep. I think that li- means that literally, yeah. like, we're going to go somewhere, not like a genetic splicing thing. Um... 
draw the gold tile. It looks like... You know the weird neighbors Describe that wouldn't it. give you candy on Halloween and they give you those prizes where you'd have to like oh. move stuff like a Happy Meal toy? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that where you put that stupid uh, plastic ring. To, uh, it's like that, but better. When you go to uh, Cracker Barrel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't go to Cracker Barrel. Yeah, no. Hey, let's not. Barrel? I like Cracker Barrel. Any place that has uh, chicken fried steak yeah. or a version of it. Is delicious, Old yes, I agree. Oh, okay. okay. I, I love chicken yeah, fried yeah. steak. Yeah, I think I we, believe uh, you. I think we have a winner for the board game. <laughs> Where? Congratulations, Nate Moss. Nate Moss. Oh, all right. Isn't that a twofer for I Nate? I think so. I believe so. Nice. You you can congratulations. They're not the pick of prizes. That's right. And he, cl- he clearly nice bought stuff to get prizes. Game. So play yeah, the game, you I win the prizes, prizes folks. Fantastic. Yeah, no, it looks great. Play the game, you win prizes. And it's by the say. 99 look balloon person. We get a so post a note for. Uh, yeah, we do need a post Nate, he's obviously paid somebody off here. There's a lot of things in here still. There's a lot. I hear a lot Scott, of tickets right 39 around at in least there. still in there. I have 55. Oh, wow. <laughs> 54. Give it some pizzazz. Some pizzazz. As the chat requests. Need some, like, Wheel of Fortune music oh, when you're picking. Oh, oh. We do. we got to get some, some royalty-free music Ooh. we can play when we we're... We haven't picked a prize yet to type it in yet. <laughs> yeah, we have to... Are we doing oh, a... This well, is a pick-a-prize. Oh, just, are we doing a pick-a-prize? Pick nice. Uh, should we do a pick-a-prize? Four pick-a-prizes. Oh, five. I'm sorry. Five, yeah. Five pick-a-prizes left. Okay, Five is that. also the number of times Booker T was champion. Let's do a pick a prize. Five times WCW Five times. champion. See? He knows. It, Kyle knows. It, it. Yeah, he knows. That seems like a wrestling thing or something. We know. That's totally a wrestling <laughs> yeah, it's totally thing. Yeah, totally a wrestling totally thing. Totally a wrestling thing. Uh, should I go ahead and enter? Yeah, this is for a okay. Prize. Nope, we won't. No, no. We, we will never. You're not in the club. I can't I can't tell you about it. So we, do, so we do what we want. Yeah. I'll get over it. <laughs> It'll be okay. Um, I was uh, the Ultimate War for Halloween once. That is a nice great thing I, for well, you to, to how tell How do you feel me. about that now? <laughs> why? What did he do? Nothing. He's a terrible. I mean, well, I mean, he was. I was a child. He's dead now, but he was like a hardcore right wing fairness, guy. Nick has the build for <laughs> Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. It was a good choice. Yeah. yeah that's so when you true. went up to the house, did you have like a rope that you would shake? Yeah. You know, that was, receive the candy. So well, so. Did you have the junkie bands like where you were? <laughs> no, I was just saying like he would just inject the heroin. What's up, Christine? Surprise list updated the chat. The prize list is not updated. We will give it a Let second. Let me update it here. Do a regular one. Give Nick time to update the prize. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's give away one of the planned well, we core prizes. Well, we to pick a prize. It's okay. Yeah, we did put in. We did put a name in the chat. Right. Oh, okay. 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 The Why the Last Man is gone. So we still have Deadpool. Okay. We yep. still have the Dark Knight action figure. Rich. Correct. True. We still have Sarah. True. Yep. Um, we still have the Savage Worlds <laughs> box. Rich. True. Uh, we still have the Kaldheim Kal- theme booster. Yep. We still. That is it. Pendulum. I will remove pendulum. There okay. That's it. Yeah. Thank you, chat, for letting me know. Uh, it's now updated, and the text is bigger. See? See? As, I, as predicted, it is now easier than before to pick a prize. <laughs> oh, and here are the there we go. prizes Look now. at that, right in front of the camera and everything. Right. It looks fantastic. You can get Savage uh, Riffs. So did our pick a prize. That's what I say every no, time I listen to uh, one of one Harvey Picard's albums. It's just Savage uh, yeah, Riffs. I think it's been a Every time. <laughs> Savage Worlds is also very miniature friendly. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes, very much so. Oh, I thought you meant for like young Still people. Still going for like, the pick a prize. Miniature children. They're all yeah, miniature. Yeah, thanks for bearing sure. with us, folks, on the pick a prize list. Oh, yeah, we're going to switch some people out. Who wants to Who wants to tag in? Who wants to rotate in? Brad. 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 Ooh. I hear a chant for Brad. Brad. Sean, Brad. how you Brad. feeling? Brad. You feeling spry? Brad. <laughs> is your tailbone okay? <laughs> Should I crawl under the table to get on here? Probably not. No more, no more stunts, Sean. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> this isn't jackass. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. I'm Sean. Welcome to jackass. <laughs> Johnny Knoxville is 50 be, years old. That would be great. He's only just like yeah. I know. I just saw. I, I saw a picture of him with like all gray hair, yeah. like from like a week ago, and it makes me concerned for his safety. Yeah. I know they're shooting that new movie, but oh. I, I hope he's I mean, taking it at he, he, the pace he, still, he should be. I feel like he's reached that point where it's kind of surprising he's still alive in a sense. He looks like bad grandpa now. Like, that's true. Yeah, he actually yeah. looks like bad grandpa. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much like that skin just pulled tighter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. To be fair, those guys, you know. It's yeah. pretty, pretty wild uh, living Definitely. for a while, that they, crew. Uh, they filmed they some of that. Some Sean, pull the mic back just oh. a bit from you. Oh. Sean. There we go. Thank you, Sean. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Everything I do. <laughs> 
See, so we need like instant replay for the but, for when you tumbled a little wait, bit. Real, <laughs> just queue it real up. Quick, oh, this is, a, this is a pick a prize. Pick a prize. Uh, oh, but we'll, oh hey, hey, we got confirmation. We got, an, we got an oh hey. That's a pick a prize for, confirmation for Joel Montgomery. Just Joel, tell us which prize. Which are right in front of us. So yeah. Uh, um, but real quick. While Joel's picking the prize, I'm just thinking here, workshopping this jackass intro idea. It could be like, hmm. hi, my name's Sean. Welcome to Superscript. And then you, like, suplex through, like, a table of the new comics or oh, something. I think we just figured out our new sale just, ad like, for whatever. That would be fantastic. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, can you cut, like, a Macho Man Randy Savage promo with it? Yeah. Oh, Sean. Yeah, that would be. I, I got to work on that in a mirror, I think, uh, for a while. So, Joel, but... if you look in front of me and Nick, you'll actually you see what's available yeah, still for a pick a prize. Yeah, we still have the so sign Sarah by Garth Ennis, the Dark Knight Returns action figure, the Riffs box set, the Caldheim theme boosters, and the Deadpool uh, Omnibus Volume 1. Yeah. Yep. That's the ones. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. No, oh, definitely. Some yeah. great stuff to choose from, then. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Riffs? I would probably pick Riffs at this point. Yeah, I do actually own this box set, but... I think I'd go with Deadpool, because Calvin has talked it up a lot tonight. Deadpool, really good Deadpool is good. Is there. Yeah, that's Deadpool true. Is good. Let me let me do the Steiner math promo. Okay, Boyer. Next magic night, please. <laughs> the, Boyer, Boyer can be in the Steiner math promo. If he amazing. if he can, I'll be impressed. The well, sign, the best Sarah. Thing about, yeah, it's, it, is it, he's right. That's the amazing thing about the Steiner math promo. Do you know any of the basic like story no, stuff? It's it's, it's no, a we're wrestling. We're, we're, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna okay. get back to my this. wrestling knowledge <laughs> ends at Stone Cold T. Boston so, era. That's about it. With the three of you, what would you pick of what's left in the pick a prize? Hmm. I think I would go with riffs. Riffs? Okay. So I've never gotten to play, and I've heard nothing but good things. It's awesome. So I want to. I there's, wanna, there's there we go. Joel agrees, Brad. Hey, Joel, Joel is taking Joel rips. rips. Congratulations, Joel. Nice. Very it's a really nice. good choice. Awesome, awesome box set. Thank you, Calvin. All right. Then we're going to do another random prize. Another core prize. Ooh, what do we got? The common core. Solid core prize. Right, we're going to go with... Marvel, Marvel Champions. Champions, the core set cooperative card game by and Fantasy Flight Games. With uh, sleeves. With the official game Genic sleeves. A whole bunch of them. We got some oh. Shiog so sleeves, uh, some uh, Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel sleeves, some general purple <laughs> Black Panther, Black Spider Man. Panther, Spider -Man. Uh, yeah, B really everything you need to get going. Uh, great cooperative card game, pretty similar to the uh, uh, Arkham yeah. Horror card game, if you happen to have played that. And what are we doing uh, with One that? to four is players. Arkham Horror or Eldritch Horror? Uh, Arkham Horror card game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Eldritch Horror Elder is a board game. Elder Sign is what I was thinking about. Uh, that, that's also a board game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cooperative card game. Very cool stuff. Uh, got uh, five characters in the box, as well as Sending three it. villains you can play against. Uh, I believe there are uh, four different difficulties for each of the villains uh, and lots of customization you can do. Uh, they just announced uh, the though. Mad King expansion for this, which is a... Uh, 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 a <laughs> Thanos uh, themed uh, campaign expansion. Okay. Uh, oh my. Uh, I'm, I'm a big hot. fan of uh, cooperative games. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. They're, they're the easiest kind of games to bring new players into. Definitely, definitely. So, and this one you can uh, share a lot of information from your hand with the other player, so it's uh, I don't know, it, it's pretty easy to get going, you know. Excellent. Do you, so have you played Marvel Legendary? Uh, I have not played okay. Legendary. So I was curious actually. how it feels compared to that, because one's a deck builder and that's more cooperative. It sounds like. Yeah. Um. Th this one's kind of interesting because the cards all have like resource costs, <laughs> like a Magic. Kind of, kind of the gimmick here is instead of you playing cards, you can tap for resources. Okay. You can hmm. choose to discard other cards in your hand. <laughs> cards have like their cost uh, for actually playing them in the top left hand corner. Okay. Versus the uh, resources they generate when you discard them are in the bottom right hand corner. Um, uh, a vast majority of things you just pay general resources for, but there are uh, three different resource types uh, that you can spend. And usually if you're paying for specific cards with said resources, they'll give you some sort of extra benefit. For example, if you like play with a lightning bolt when you're doing like a charge kick for Spider-Man, you do two extra damage. Okay. So when you make your deck, um, do you pick like the hero that you're going to be like running essentially? Yes. Yes. Okay. You you select the hero. The hero comes with a play set of 15 cards that must go into the deck. Okay. And then besides that, you can pick essentially what are one of the Probably four colors in the game, which are actually type uh, 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 card types. In this case, it'd be like justice, protection, aggression. Okay. So you can choose one of those colors and then any uh, general cards. And uh, between the card set that comes with the character, you you just have to get up to 40 cards and your deck is done so you can really customize your playstyle then yeah definitely Solid. definitely uh so yeah it, it, it's especially once you have like a, a decent collection of cards uh you can really make some creative stuff 
And that's by Fancy uh, Flight, right? It is. Yes, okay. it is by Fancy yeah. Flight. Yeah. Uh, yes, the uh, Champions core set includes Captain Marvel, Spider-Man, Iron Man, She-Hulk, and Black Panther. Uh, all feel very different. Um, like, for example, uh, Iron Man and Black Panther have uh, decks that are equipment-focused. You want to find the equipment in them, put them into play, mm -hmm. and then that generally makes them stronger. Uh, like, Iron Man, for example, is very weak until he can construct his suit, but once his suit oh. is constructed, he's one of the stronger characters in the core set. Nice. Wow, okay. And they just recently revealed the next box. Did you talk that about? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I briefly touched. Yeah, the, nice. there is a Thanos-themed th uh, the Thanos expansion box. coming out that hey, has uh, hey, five hey, encounters and two the, playable uh, characters. We have a winner. Oh, who's the winner? Bill Davidson. Congratulations. Bill yes. Davidson. Nice. Cleaning up. Marvel yeah. Champions corset. We got it. that. And nice. all these lovely Wins. Well done. Sleeves. Nice. The hat trick. Very nice. Oh. Yeah. What do, we, what do we have next, Sean? Next, we have Amulets, uh, volumes one through three from Scholastic Books. All right. Okay. Got it. We got you, Nate. Got form? it, Nate. The whole amulet series. What is oh, what is that about? Complete? Is that finished then or? Christine says Ooh. it's a pick a prize. Oh. Oh. It is now. Oh. Oh. oh back, that's back a pick on. a prize. It's good. It, amulet. It's a good uh, YA series. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fantasy American series. Bond, you gotta they gotta go find them. You wanna go to the mm -hmm. and say that to the mic? Here comes. Here comes Christine to explain Amulet for you. YA comic expert. Oh, I gotta have my beer for this. Gotta have the beer. <laughs> As any good, I don't know what. And yeah, you can. Yeah, I haven't actually gotten yeah, around reading fantastic. these yet. I, yes. uh, we have the for not the first one. one. <laughs> At home. Yeah, and so I've been reading this series. Okay. You Have you read it? We, I haven't gotten around to reading it yet. Uh, for, it's uh, my daughter has the first one, and... She seems to like it so far. It's nice. award winning. You know, it's it's a quest type of story, mm -hmm. um, but there's danger, you know. Um, so there, a girl discovers that she has um, inherited this amulet, mm -hmm. which is, um, which has been passed down through her family and it has powers, but her mom um, gets hurt and, and is unconscious and ill in a struggle. And so, uh, she has to find like something to make her mom better, and, okay. and so she is on this quest, and people are helping her with a house that is mechanical and moves. It's wild. Hmm. It's wild. Um, but this, the, it's really, it's really. So it's kind series. of like a house full of secrets in a way. A house full of secrets. It's a mobile house. It's got like you know. Um, tricks up its sleeve it's got a bunny that drives it does it have any uh strange locked doors that require specific keys you know but it, it does not but it huh. it definitely has Thank God. um <laughs> but it has a cast of characters that are heartwarming like a stuffed bunny um who is alive nice. and drives the house um but yeah it's it's a great series i've i've been really enjoying it so adventures for all. That sounds and fun. For our winner. Yeah. And was that? Uh, maybe I missed it. Is that the the whole run? Does it end it? Is it volume four? I believe there's maybe one oh, okay. after this one, nice. but um, I think it recent, very recently came out. Got it. And Scott oh, Prutton, wee. congratulations. <laughs> Scott. Amulet. Take home. Very one nice. through four. I promise it's nice. a really good. It's a fun novel. It's cute. Nice. I enjoy it. Congrats, Scott. Nicely done. Congratulations. What's next? Are we on... Um, uh, shall we do... The pick a prize? Yeah, maybe we should do... Want to do a pick a prize? All right. I think that's huh. that table then. Yeah. 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 Oh, so we've got them in front of us, yeah. and we're going to let you pick a prize. Yeah. Um, that's right, Nick Boyer. Yeah. Scott Prouten, Prouten can't keep getting away from the... Getting away with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll type that in. Wins on wins. That's right. So, has has actually has he had a pick a prize? I don't think so. Okay. I don't well, think so. I, I could be wrong. Who, who got our pick? Do we? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Who got our pick a prize? Okay. Hey, I back got. there. Come. Come, come hither. Some, someone come <laughs> over here. Bo. She forgot did, your name. Did he get a pick Plain a prize already? Yes. Oh. Oh. Okay. Did he? I don't know. I've been drinking. Okay. 
Scott. Scott Prun. We literally p- pulled yes. him again. <laughs> Did he get a pick Scott, a if you got to pick a prize, Scott will be honest about it. Scott's good people. Yeah, well, we Scott, did you pretty sure Amulet pick... was not a pick a prize because and I so did not Scott write down has, the pick a prize list actually... and it did not come off the pick a prize table. But... Scott has dedicated this to Boyer if he's oh, serious. Oh, man. Um, oh. Oh. Pillar of the community. <laughs> Boyer's got a bo- That's right. So it looks like Boyer... Uh, does that wait? No. What do you mean, he, Scott? Or is he saying he's, he's dedicating like, this or win? Or he's like in your face, Boyer. I That's right. To you. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. So Scott, Scott, what, what is your what elaborate. prize do you um, pick here? So they're in front of Nick and I. Yeah. So we got the Deadpool classic the omnibus, Sarah. the signed Sarah collection, that, which is awesome, and then this awesome Dark Knight Returns. But really, this is figure. the this is the last pick a prize you can win. This is the only one. <laughs> Well, yeah, because he didn't win one before, right? Okay. Can you confirm that with the judges? Who fucking knows? We're not we sure. We confirm that. We're going by honor well, system for Scott. I it, it's like it's honor that. system Can here. Can we look at the... I was the looking at Scott's not going to lie. Okay. Scott won uh, Cyberpunk. Nope, that, that, was that was not a pick a prize. prize. That was not a pick a prize. That was not a pick a prize. I think that was it. Is yeah. Scott the one that gave a prize yeah. win to somebody else earlier? No. no. Well, in the last yeah. raffle? Yeah. So Scott, what do you pick? And while pick. Scott's picking, uh, how's everyone's night going? Good, pretty good. All right. <laughs> Scott says, "In your face." All right. Maybe you can pick which prize you want. Scott too. wins in your face. <laughs> what by is Fantasy the, Flight Games. This, this what is the in your face is really prize? It's a mask. The, the Dark Knight figure. So nice. congratulations, oh, Scott. Nice choice. Excellent choice. Excellent choice. Um, and and you know what what's next? Nick now Nick we'll Boyer do. says dot dot dot. What's next? We need a core prize. Um, What's the core, core prize? prize. Is, all is, three? It, have been, is yeah. it Batman time? Is it all three of these? No, those are separate. Oh, okay. okay. That's what I thought. Uh, all right, so we got Frank Miller's Batman Noir: The Dark Knight Strikes Again. Oh, actually, no, those two Noirs are together. Sorry, I screwed up. Calvin reminded me. Okay, so that's gonna be that, and also, Batman Noir: The Dark Knight Returns. Like the other one's color, though, right? Two books. There. Mm-hmm. Two. Nice. Oh, oh my god. Look at the art comparison from the first to the second. Yeah. <laughs> Big difference? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Like, Is that like it? Like car wreck difference. Yeah. Like okay. Okay. Three so? difference. Oh, yeah. Wait. Those are beautiful. I have nice. always been eyeing those. Again, shrink wrap, so I actually can't look through them. But no sneak peeks. The that's first great. one is really good. Start second one, good. It goes with that action figure. The that's second true. one is the second one. The I've never read Batman, but I hear oh. it's great. Mm. Yeah, Batman is a friend of the store. That's right. Mm-hmm. I heard that. I heard it was no somewhere. Just trying to give a good shake, some yep. preparation. Shaking that xenomorph back here. I wish everyone could see this. He is really, it's vigorous. <laughs> this xenomorph oh, like is... Uh, with his hands uh, what are you doing under the table, Nick? <laughs> this is a family show, everyone. That's Too much right. xenomorph excitement over there? It's 11.30 uh, p.m. family show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that everyone is, like, closed in on us. Yeah, <laughs> so all of the... So ever like, since I said, like five hey, people you right behind these cameras. Here, everyone is, everyone like, is hey, surrounding right? us. Said you over here. I did. Yeah. yeah, I just said that into the microphone. <laughs> all right. Can everybody stand behind us in the shot? Is that possible? <laughs> we just get everybody in frame right all now? All right. Oh. Yeah, Let's like not move weird, the cameras back at all either. Like this is a, I don't know what. They're watching show. us. We are in a cage and yeah. we're in the zoo and they are watching us. They're like I'm in a Beastie it's, Boys. It's a lot. <laughs> live DVD. <laughs> did you say it's a Beastie Boys live DVD? Yes, I did. <laughs> nice. When yeah, did you watch a Beastie a, uh, Boys live DVD? Get a, there, there's that one where they gave people everybody hand cameras oh, at Madison awesome. Square Garden and they edited like all the footage together. So it's from all these weird angles. No, we nobody else saw that. Saw the only Beastie Boys fan. All right, cool. Just get a B- bunch of people chimed in. Thank you. I love the Beastie Boys too. Uh, Joel Montgomery says Xenomorphs give the worst hickeys. Uh oh. What do we weigh in on that? Yikes. 
They're pretty efficient at giving hickeys, though. Like, if there was, like, a hickey speed contest. I mean, that's kind of like a final hickey, well, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't need one. do you really have to be alive kind of like to a, get a, a one and done situation? Yeah. Yeah. In the yeah. original art, it was not a secondary mouth. <laughs> well, that sounds way more sexual coming from the, you. Uh, yeah, but it, Surprise. It is, though. But it was... <laughs> Sean, oh, we have a comment. So, you know legal comment from the chat. Ingrid from the chat said, my dad loves the Beastie Boys. Hell yeah, Rich. Dad music. Very sweet yeah. dad music. Rich is my guy. I was trying to say that to make Boys. us all feel old. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. my we love the best Boys. friend growing up, her parents were 19 when they had her. So uh -huh. uh, Van Halen and you 2 were parents' music to me. I yeah, was yeah. like... I got sent home from school yeah. in sixth grade for wearing my Beastie Boys shirt to oh, school. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Was there anything even, like, offensive on it? It was, it was a like, Catholic school, so I think oh. they were just generally offended by the rock and roll nature. Yeah. I, I don't know. It was a different time. Yeah. What didn't they like? They, I don't know. It had a robot on it. I don't know what there was to be the upset DC about. Boys. Yeah. Okay, it said Intergalactic it? World Tour 98. Yes. Sounds dangerous. Yeah. I don't know. Um, we're gonna stay on this planet, <laughs> god damn it. My school district banned um, Simpson shirts. Yeah, yeah. I, I think their general wow. argument was like, we ban all band shirts. So mm. like maybe the idea was they were banning my Beastie Boys shirt before the band shirts could get offensive, hypothetically. But it was a nat on this Batman Noir. The nat did so, not win the Batman Noir. John, Stan Simon <laughs> saw that Beastie Boys video in a movie theater. Hell yeah. Whoa. Oh. I did not listen wow. to it, or I did not see it in a place with such great audio. That sounds really awesome. I'll let also, Nick read the second sentence. I'm old enough to remember that thing. Why? Because <laughs> I, I, I'm too embarrassed to read it. <laughs> Choice bit with the guy in the bathroom. Oh, what are we talking Made about? Read it. That's Basketball Diaries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bo says that's Basketball Diaries, Stan. But it is a good bet. Ben Uncle says, I am a dad, and I do love the Beastie Boys. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's right. Dad music. It is very good dad music. It's not even rock. It's rap. <laughs> All right, I'm another one. You've got a dad rap. Mm -hmm. That was a dad joke. Oh, I pulled, I pulled two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nick told. Oh, he pulled two. Let's pull him again. I'm doing it with pizzazz. Do you see all those shakes? Calvin Dow, congratulations, you oh won Batman hey. Noir. Well done. And Calvin won a pick a prize earlier, so he is eligible for a non pick a prize. Nice. I love Dark Knight Strikes again. <laughs> Justin <laughs> Augusty, I see your comment section. Oh, in Facebook, comment. no, I get it. So my Facebook comment section hasn't been working right either. I have to keep exiting and then oh. going back into the live stream, like to see people's comments. Uh, well, Justin, update. we know you're here, so we'll. Yeah. What does that well, say? Yeah. I have no idea, but we're gonna try. I think I know. Uh, it's either a J Batman or an S. Is this a J? I think it's a J. Darkness complete. Sure. <laughs> and, Magic the uh, Gathering comic? That's yeah, a so Magic the Gathering bundle. All right, we'll, we'll all do this next. Magic the right, we'll Gathering bundle. Here we come. Yeah. Yes. Like a mythic rare Magic the Gathering. All right, this, this is, is our This is a booster gathering. pack for your uh, good, comic good collection. <laughs> um, you can put this on your scroll rack. Um, <laughs> what? Uh, Are you just gonna list magic cards? Yeah, I, <laughs> oh. I was gonna it try like the black vice put book and this on your yeah. icy manipulator. Yeah. Uh, read lightning bolt. Uh, uh, ferocious pup. Uh, mountain. Mountain goat. Swamp. Uh, yeah. Could you put it next to your JMA tome? <laughs> Yeah. Put this yeah. in your library of Alexandria. Yeah. Ooh. Would they have that at a Tolarian Academy? Oh yes. And I hope this book yeah. does not call you cause you any duress. Uh, Nick says very bushwag. Ah. Yeah. Is I don't know what that meant, but I read books? it. If I fall again, throw me on the funeral pyre. Uh, maybe you could. Oh wait, read it's Yuri. That's a Y, not a V. Hello. Maybe you could. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Read this while you are doing a dark ritual. <laughs> oh. I don't like to say dark ritual for the last. 
A dark yeah. ritual. Yes. <laughs> double, yeah. double, yeah. toil and trouble. Car Nick is, another name. Yep, yeah. it's time for a new That's name. So wow. Oh new my name. goodness. This is quite a lucky <laughs> evening for this individual. I <laughs> doing nothing but <laughs> uh, sorting. Sorting tickets. Oh. You're sorting lots of tickets. Boyer, we're on the same plane because I read that as a V and you meant it as a V. Nice. So, like, I, I, yeah, mind meld there. Yeah. You typed a Y, but I knew it meant V. Um, Andy says this chat needs more two for twos. What's your favorite Magic the Gathering set? Oh. Dark Ascension. Yeah. Dark Ascension no, says someone like here. Dark Ascension. Dark Ascension. Dark Ascension. Bill Davidson, you are giving yeah. Scott a run for his money. Bill Congratulations. Davidson. You Bill get this. Davidson. Oh, Congratulations. Is Bill, aren't you so glad you came in? Truly. <laughs> what else we got? What are we giving away next to the folks at home? We have the complete darkness oh, nice. by Image uh, Comics. We also have a request for flipping more tables. I think that's in reference to you, Sean. Oh maybe boy! You need to I'll uh, I'll start tables. stretching out. We can uh, maybe make that happen. So we do those little like pizza tables. Oh, the darkness is. I used to know that. Garth Ennis. That guy. Garth. Ennis. Yes. He's the same guy who wrote that book over there. Yeah, I know. He signed that book right yeah. there. This is not signed. Is Silver Street that did the artwork? It's uh, published by Top Cow Productions, which is, I think, the most successful company uh, ran by a cow. Uh, oh, yeah. You think so? I don't know. Elmer's. What about, uh, I mean, it's called Top Elmer's Cow, not Bottom solid. Cow. Elmer's. Yeah, but that could just be there to build up the hype. <laughs> I, I mean, that's true. Yeah. What else was on the right? Run by a cow? Elmer's? Elmer's? Oh, Elmer's, yeah. Here's Calvin to oh, talk I about glue. Now we have a, I can type. Just uh, you're the resident yeah. darkness expert. Yeah. I did buy that darkness collection oh, yesterday go. during the Superscript Summer Sale. Oh wow, very nice. Uh, I had never read the darkness. I didn't realize it was Garth Ennis, and I like darkness in Witchblade. I think Witchblade could have a really cool reboot. Yep. Yeah, I played. And it probably darkness, has uh, had one, and no one. I was just I about to like, ask if it, if yeah. anybody played the darkness. Video game? Yeah, I the video the, games. I played the video games. Yeah, yeah. Slap. The darkness yeah. games are so good. It is good. It's good. Um, voiced by what's his face, Mike Patton. Oh, oh I forgot Mike about Patton. that. The darkness. <laughs> That's is, yeah, wild. Yeah, yeah, which is awesome. Hear that Mike but Mike yes. Okay. Uh, 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 off microphone. Yes, Mike Patton, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles song. Oh, is, yeah. is it new? Really it's like it's a re I think it's just remake of. Just, just the, let Mike Patton do everything. I want to pull another. <laughs> Give him a crack at everything. Yeah, why not? Pull another one. It couldn't get any worse. Nick Boyer says he believes in a thing called love. Oh, because the dark, the dark. I get it. Uh, Very nice. I got nice. you. That's some pillar of the community work. Oh, we got Boyer. another Stan Simon honorable mention for Darkness the Band. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Darkness right. is a good band. My favorite comment so far. Bill Davidson says, "No joke. I'm glad my kids spent their allowance money today." <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am glad. I am glad as well. Well done. That, that worked out. Um, what else was I gonna say about? That? Oh yeah, I think I think the time would be perfect for some kind of yeah darkness yeah i know i think blade. they tried one a couple of years ago i know um one of my favorite artists um whose name i cannot say but his name is St 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 he try. wrote harleen for dc black label it's a very good book and he has a very croatian mm. name and okay. i cannot say it it's step japan subject all right but it's very good and i know he did but a witchblade uh run for a while that was supposed to be pretty good nice nice but yeah like I feel like there is enough, uh, you know, like this is the good time for something like that from that time period to be mm -hmm. rebooted. And there was a people. bad, there was a bad Witchblade TV show. There was a bad, there was, there was, was, the, there was a bad Witchblade live action TV show. Oh, it was live action. Live action. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was like an oh there's an anime too. We, can, I don't know. We can't talk about the anime on a family friendly stream. Uh, oh. This actually includes <laughs> Witchblade number 10, 18, and nineteen. Too, nice. FYI. As That's well as there's deal. actually an interesting notation includes something called, or it includes a series called Tales of the Darkness, and notes that it includes issues one through four and a half. And a half. Oh. 90s oh, comics half are wild. Yeah, that was a wizard uh, exclusive. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. We're gonna pull another name. I pulled two. <laughs> Makes it sound more exciting. Yeah. It's fun notation. Mm -hmm. Made me wonder about what was going on there. 
Yeah, Kenny. That he's literally one of my favorite artists. He writes another image comic that's also very good, but we can't talk about it on all ages stream. All right. Hmm. Wait, what is the other? Can we say the name of the other? Book? It's Sunstone. It's oh, really okay. good, but it's okay. It's a little. It's a delightful romantic comedy. It's a delightful uh, romantic comedy. Nice. What else we got? Do so wait. Did like failure to launch. Yeah. Exactly like it's failure like to launch. Sean. To launch. <laughs> Actually, my favorite underrated rom com. Now that we're talking about Matthew McConaughey movies, is yep. Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. If anyone in the chat has that seen that, How that movie's great. Got mail. It's a class. Matt McConaughey Ooh. isn't in that movie. Right? I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> What's that? It feels very dated. Well, I feel like yeah, that's, a, but that's like that's a, what I watch. That's like a, a bad rom com. Well, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go <laughs> listen to Beastie Boys and watch You've Got Mail. Yeah. And whenever I watch a Tom Hanks rom com, I watch Castaway. Well, uh, or Toy oh. Story. Is that really a rom com? Yeah. Castaway? Him and Wilson. I mean, I know it's. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's him so and Wilson. Yeah, the sexual a... tension is palpable. It's a very special relationship. Oh, I, mean, I guess. Okay, I guess there are moments. I don't know. I guess, yeah. You don't think he kissed Wilson? He definitely kissed yeah. Wilson, right? Ser Seriously, uh, You Got Mail is the most phoned in Tom Hanks has ever been, possibly. No, no, no there was that movie uh, called The Circle, no. and it was him and Emma Watson, and he I've was the bad guy. It's and I was like, good. Tom Hanks is a bad guy? That sounds awesome, that and it was not good. No, the one where he goes to community college is like an old adult with Julia Roberts is the most phoned in one. That sounds bad. What? Turn on the Breakfast Club. Yeah. Punchline with Sally Fields. <laughs> There are, there's some bad We're just Tom Hanks shouting movies. the names of Tom Hanks movies now. <laughs> the man with one red shoe. Joe versus the volcano. Oh, Tell God. Us. I'm Tell so sorry I did that. Joe versus Tom Hanks. Hanks. All right, we have confirmation. I could have just gave confirmation earlier anyway. It's Megan Brenders. One. Megan <laughs> Brenders. Dark. Taking the darkness home with you. Yeah. Brad. Very nice. Thanks. Thank you. There you go. That's not fixed. <laughs> uh, we only got three left over here, so maybe Another we should do one of those. Pick a prize. We still got this awesome prize. Pick a prize. Pick a, a prize. Pick a prize. I'm trying to talk yeah, quietly, I don't know actually, while keeping them like far away from me because yeah. I know I'm the loudest person. <laughs> okay. I feel like I should probably be like hallways. right up here, maybe. I, I, I know it's a huge. I need a mixer. We for got my, Sarah. Like, lyrics. Garth Ennis always shines when he does historical stuff. Rifle got the, Brigade. Uh, um, the Kaldheim thematic boosters, right? We, uh, yeah, we have the yes. Kaldheim boosters for people who play magic. So, I mean, could you magic. describe like what the thematic booster really is? So, the theme boosters are, they're like regular booster packs for magic, mm -hmm. but they're themed around a specific color. So, it's just everything in the pack will be like black, or everything in the pack will be blue. And it's really, really good if you're getting started in magic. You just want to kind of build up a collection. Um, it's great if you're in standard and you want to find the specific... Also, yes, if yeah. you're in standard. Yeah, yeah. And Call Time is in standard. It's a very recent set. Yeah, it's also group. really cool. It's like Vikings and stuff, if you guys right. don't know. Right. There's probably some we dwarves tribal in the there. Prize. Yeah. Yeah. This is another one for Nate Moss. Nate Moss. He's taking the, the magic he's cards. He's taking the Kaldheim. Kaldheim set uh, boosters for Nate Moss. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Solid. Ooh. Nice. Uh, awesome. Thank you, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. We'll do another, uh, another oh. random. Sounds one? good. Let's go with uh, March, March book, book one. one. Nice. Oh, that's that's a very serious comic. Yeah, very, very good. John Lewis. The late, late John Lewis. Yeah, the late, the late John Lewis. I I don't. I could talk about Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's uh it's about the civil rights movement in the 60s. Yeah. Uh it's from John Lewis's point of view. It's like a like a, me, a like a graphic memoir. Like a memoir. Yeah, I, yeah, I believe it was call it. Mhm. Mm uh and it's amazing. I think it's one It's drawn by someone from Columbus, Ohio. It's drawn by someone from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, yep. uh Nate back. Powell, I think, right? Is the Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Nate Powell, uh, Andrew uh, Einden also has a credit. I, I believe they did the uh, the this version of the book. Uh, it's put out by Top Shelf Productions. This is the nice, like, kind of oversized hardcover edition as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, super nice. Super Import nice important comic. Um, the, the, uh, this is on my, my frustrating list of books that I have to get around to at home right now. So. list to read. Um, <laughs> this also, Nate Powell, I believe, has a newer book that is called... Uh, Save um, It For Later. Save It For Later. Which is very um, good. All, mm. Also, like... Um, a good, uh, you know, I guess, commentary of our times, uh, kind a of. Father, a new father during the current political era. Okay. And, and it seems oh. like Elliot should maybe join the panel here. Join the mm -hmm. panel. Change out. There you go. 
I can place both Sean and Brad. Uh, Hi, I'm here to talk to you about real books. Ma Matthew, Matthew, Matthew March asks, how did I not win this one? I don't know, I don't but know. this is seriously excellent. Um, yeah, uh, there are three of them. This yeah. is the first in the, this is the, in the trilogy. The Oversized Library Edition, um, written by the late John Lewis. Uh, like, truly, truly excellent. Uh, at some point, this will undoubtedly be a Superscript Book Club book, and so you can get in on That's the ground right. floor. Get in early. Book Club folks. Like I did with Deadly Class. Yeah. Make sure you've read it earlier than the week prior to the book club. Which is the LA Frank Method. Book Club. On a Sunbeam. Yeah, Book Club this on week. On a Sunbeam. This week. Yeah. I'm like halfway through it. A delightful book. Space. Do you have it? Because can I borrow it? I do. Do you actually need to borrow it? I actually need yeah. to borrow it. We <laughs> sold out of we On sold a Sunbeam. Do you, do you want me to bring it in tomorrow for yes, you? Yes, please. Okay. So now we are asking our customers who purchased On a Sunbeam from us. Uh-huh. To bring the because, book back well, to us. Well, we want to have them to sell to you, so we're like, we'll be the last people. The customer to buy always them, comes and first. And then we ran out. Here, I, would, I, I would say that Honest Sunbeam is far and away the best-selling book club book we've had yet. Mm -hmm. um, really? Yeah. Whoa! What? Oh, someone disagrees. Someone here in the peanut gallery disagrees. What? We have a Donna Zora book. Save it for the show, man. Oh, we've got to save this commentary. You just guys want to do the book club now? Yeah, we're about oh, to do no, no, no. the book club. I haven't read it yet. Emily took it from me and read it in like two days. Oh, I'm, wait, I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm sorry. You're then right. You bring it you're to right. me. It's sold okay. Like, like it's a, sold really well. That's a book club conversation. You're right. Tune into the book club. We can hear more things like that. Yeah, yeah tidbit. Totally. Book club. It's this Wednesday night over live stream, and it's at what? 9 30? 9 30. 9 30 on Wednesday. YouTube and Facebook. Simulstream. For anybody tuning in late, uh, you have to be looking at the chat in either Facebook or YouTube, whichever you I are in, uh, okay. to see if your name has been typed. In the typing chair. Ah, so no, Nick was typing. Now Calvin, Calvin and Kyle are arguing type. about who's typing. I'm typing. Calvin is typing. I, I, right. I, so, I don't know how to spell this person's name, but I really hope it's spelled it's, the way I'm okay. writing. You're doing it in all caps. If you oh, can't we've been read doing it. it. Okay. We ask for a certain degree of latitude trying to spell names from people's um, handwriting. People understand Calvin. It'll be Dave just Gibson fine. says on a sunbeam sunbeam was great. Oh, I'm glad Good. to hear it. Dave Gibson, can I borrow your copy? Okay. Kyle has a How read, many copies Kyle. do you need? Well, Kyle has a uh, I, I do actually need to Christine's read it. Christine's got yeah, a double fist. Still you ever double fist a book? Yeah, that's right. No, you ever Edward I 40 hands up prose novel? So it's like novel? I have four pages in a row open. Oh, that's a... We are. But has anyone really tried that? Like, do you have four pages consecutively open in a, in a graphic novel and then you like flip them all together? And you Dave Gibson says yes. This was a recent conversation in the uh, Superscript Discord. How many books does everybody read at once? I'm reading one book right now. Eisenhorn Xenos is pretty good. I read okay. it on Sean Clark's recommendation. Okay. Fair enough. I read that book. Bo read, Bo that, read book. that book. And I don't so, read books without pictures Dave, usually. Dave is going to drop that off for you. Bono Zenos. Dave. Um, Dave Pumpkins, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I usually I keep like one fiction prose novel, one nonfiction prose novel, and one or two comics in rotation at the same time. I have a thousand comics I have started and not finished, and then. Uh, that sounds I, like hyperbole. It's not. It's okay. real. One thousand, thousand comics. I counted the other day. I have a spreadsheet. Um, but. Yeah, I keep about three or four books going at once, in different formats: audio, Kindle, hard like physical book, graphic novel. I'd, I'd say I have one of each going all at once. Fair enough. Maybe two sometimes. All right, still auctioning off. Yeah, We're waiting for someone March. in the chat for a copy of March. We're gonna keep pulling names until we get someone. <laughs> Forward written by former President Clinton. Yeah, uh, this, this little pull quote on the back. Uh, Congressman John Lewis has been a resounding moral voice in the quest for equality for more than 50 years, and I'm so pleased that he is sharing his memories of the civil rights movement with America's young leaders. So Bill Clinton endorses this book, also wrote the foreword, so exciting. You know, legibility is important on these tickets. Yeah. So... Um, really try to use your neatest oh, handwriting go. if yeah. you're ever yeah. wanting yeah. to win something yeah. at Superscript. Um, I just important. realized Calvin is a hunt and peck typer. I am 
head. Yeah. Oh, now I can't. It's stressful. I've been watching him do it too. Yeah. You see my handwriting too. Calvin, my life's a mess. Actually, Calvin's handwriting on the tickets have been good. Yeah. I've been able to read it. But all caps seems to work for Calvin. So. Oh, it's all it's caps. Very, yeah, all caps. Very legible. Can get you a copy of Mavis so Beacon. So some of you typing. maybe with bad handwriting take a okay. page out of Calvin's I have Calvin's typing of the dead. So, oh. oh. So Gino G won. Okay. But sounds qualified. Gino wants to give it to Boyer. Congrats, Nick, Nick Boyer. Boyer. You've won this excellent pillar book. of the community, Nick Boyer. Pillar of the community. Congratulations, Boyer. here on his day of Mechanicus. <laughs> True, true. It is true uh, the so day of mechanic. Pick, we have pick a prize next. Pick pick a prize. Yeah, we're getting. We have left. Down there. We have two. And if you can move that, yeah, that Sarah needed to move we have toward the middle. Two things that I thought would have gone Signed early. By yeah, Garth I kind of can't Ennis. believe these. Signed. Yeah. Signed copy. By Garth Ennis, writer of a comic about Killer Croc soon. And Batman. I think it's about Killer. We don't know that it's about. Killer it's, Croc. it's called Reptilians. Got Killer Croc on the cover. <laughs> that that means nothing to me. Maybe it's maybe it's a ruse. Maybe it's about Calendar Man. There you go. Calendar Man. That's right. I did that um, in one of our uh, book clubs unconsciously. We're not allowed I, to talk about the book yeah, clubs the book off club. of no. the book clubs because Ryan gets upset about it. You can go review the tape. But I got Alan and Karis's wedding anniversary really close, right? And I like gave myself snaps. It's really impressive that you do that. Yeah. Back the vodka for uh, Ingrid is interested in Sarah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So we have a winner? We have not a winner. Yet. We do oh, have a winner. No. We have a we're, oh. we're reading chat for you. Oh, okay. You oh yeah. So uh, uh, Sarah's great. It's um it is a historical uh, fiction comic by Garth Ennis who writes a lot of very well researched war story comics. It's about a uh, all female Russian sniper squad in uh, Wait, so there's no tanks in it? There's no tanks in it. Oh We're not God, I've been lying this whole time. Uh, on well there might be a tank in it actually. But uh, on uh, the former Soviet Union during World War II. Um, it is signed by Garth Ennis, a uh, writer of such books as Preacher and uh, The Boys, now a hit Amazon T V show. Yeah. Our, I think hot take here for the stream. I think the boys' TV show is better than the comic. Um, okay. <laughs> I think Elliot disagrees. I but realized also didn't it's finish a different the boys. Show. Yeah, so. the, en <laughs> the end of the comic is very good. Um, there's a tie-in story called Butcher Baker Candlestick Maker that everybody should read. It's great. Not everybody should. Read. And there's Not a new a new book out in issue. The boy through Becky. Oh, yeah, which is a very oh. good thought. Oh, yeah. One of the things I love about that TV show is uh, the main character, Huey, is modeled after Simon Pegg. Yeah. <laughs> Simon Pegg plays his dad. He plays his dad because yeah. yeah. Simon Pegg is now far too old to play that character, and uh, that made me feel incredibly old. So I haven't watched well season two yet, but I hear it continues Simon to Pegg go places like, like the first season. It, it was very good. It does. Jupiter's Legacy I started, though. How do you like it? I, I like Jupiter's Legacy. I'm two episodes in. I genuinely like it. Cast, I loved it. The cast felt a little off to me at first, but it's it's really working. It, it's cool how they do the, like, I, I like that they are sticking with the casting through, like, the different eras. Um, it's clear the show doesn't have the budget some things do because you, some yes. of those wigs are real I bad. I feel like you really need a budget for Jupiter's Legacy from what I've seen. I do not think they... But I haven't watched the I show. Mean, a lot. You should watch they the show. They have done a good job. I've just yeah, looked at Frank Quietly's pretty, pretty pictures. It's, it's probably some more recent work by Mark Millar that I enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like it jumps the shark like some of his other work. I would agree with that. Yeah, Jupiter's Legacy is really good. Also, like, uh, pretty faithful to the comic. Uh, comic definitely worth reading, too. Uh, if... If not only for the Frank Quietly art, it's incredibly well written. Trying to decipher a name? No. So we moved on to someone else, but uh, someone in chat said issues of chat, but said person is here if it's still up. Oh. Yeah. But like... the other person still hasn't responded. The second for the second name we pulled has not responded yet, technically. Okay. Um, so who's one? Sam? So this person was. So we've first. Elliot's gonna review the tape. So and try to decide. And then we back so if you're the in the chat, Sam you Kelly's need to here, let us know. Like yes. type in, hey. Okay, that's Sam me. Kelly's I got win. it. Sam, oh, Brad Smith and Sam Kelly share. Okay, okay. Yeah, they're the same. Uh, so Sam Kelly won. Yeah, pick a prize. Uh, Sam Kelly has won a pick a prize. Sam, Sam Kelly, Brad Smith, is Deadpool. Comics, comics are good. You guys will so, like either one, I'm sure. Yeah, fantastic yeah. choices. Some more people, I believe, who came in today saw me. The Lock and Key show, I will say, does not hold up to the comic. Uh, is that from the chat? I, 
Yes. I enjoy the show, though, personally. Uh, it's got some bad child acting in it, which is yes. always a killer Which is for weird, me. because but Netflix the is usually good with the child acting. The adults are good. Adults are good. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I watched it when I was babysitting my cousins, and it actually convince them to go buy the get the book from like the library oh, and, wow. and read it. Oh, so. that's, oh yeah, that's good. As long as it gets you to read the comic. Yeah, they got them to read. That's that's what's yeah. important there. Yeah. It's not it's not like unwatchable. I like I, I No, I don't think it's I, we made it all the way through a season and we I don't do have a think lot that is a show where you really need a budget if you're gonna do it. Uh, I, I, but well, I think the show it's looks one good. of those cases the where the book is better. So yeah. we have it is lots a case of copies. We have By lots way, of lock and key. You know what else is really good if we're gonna talk about lock and key? That lock and key Sandman crossover that's only one issue in, man, you should put that on a poll list. Uh, Sandman, also a very so good comic. Kelly Sam Kelly's just picked. talked about it's my favorite. They have picked uh, this lovely Sarah. Sam Kelly. Sarah. Sarah. Congratulations. By signed uh, copy of yeah. Sarah in issues by Garth Ennis, one of my favorite writers of all time. Writer uh, of Hitman. Congratulations. Hitman. Writer of Hitman, where he throws up on Batman shoes. All Star Section 8. Red Team. Preacher. Right the Brigade. Darkness. Uh, Tankies. Hey, friends. Um, something to write on someone who won this. I got it. Anyone? Oh, it looks like Kyle. Kyle's got thank it. You, All right, you. team effort. Thank you. Ben right. says the Runaway Show has some bad so child acting. Yeah, yeah, the Runaway Show actually does have really bad child acting. I would agree. Uh, Cloak and Dagger oh, does too. Actually, I've not watched that Cloak and Dagger. There's a crossover, which is cool because it happens when that it happens cool. in the comics. So next we have more Batman. Ooh, Cordy friend of the store, Batman. Batman. Orphan. That's right. Billionaire. Friend of the store, Court of Owls. Um, yeah. So this isn't just Court of Owls. This is the. Uh, Batman unwrapped Court of Owls, so this is just the raw pencils. Greg Capello's raw pencils. Yeah. That sounds really cool, actually. It yeah, Greg really Capello, cool. one of the best artists in comics today, I yeah, think, and personally. Court of Owls, my favorite Batman arcs. One of the best so Batman arcs there. in the last, probably, decade, in my opinion. Batman's really good right now. James Tynan is... Uh, Killing it. Yeah. Scarecrow story. Uh, Cannot write a bad comic, but uh, but this is definitely one of the best. I like the Tom King stuff too. I don't know Batman's been really good. Tom King's hit or miss that, with me with Batman. This is the this is the problem. I think in like ten years we'll think Tom King is like that's a genius run. Yeah, I, I think, I think so, elements of it are genius. I think Tom King will do go down in history as like one of our, our great writers in comics, but I I feel like this is the uh, one of our great writers okay. in comics was the. Uh, we're just skipping that. We're just skipping that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I thought we were laughing at the uh, me. We're laughing me. at the meme. So I espousing really like the virtue of, of Tom this. King. Um, these people's owl faces. These people's are... owl faces. I like no. them. No, they're, they're cute. I think you should come talk about so, it on yeah, the microphone. So yeah, Ryan wants to come talk to you about Ryan has an Batman anecdote. Panel. Ryan Reynolds stepping on up to the panel to talk about Batman. Friend of the store. Oh yeah. So runs yeah, runs the D and D campaign currently Batman. on Saturday for Saturday of every month. No, this this is what this was the point I was trying Batman to make. Batman is a friend. The Bud Light limes that Nick brought may have gotten in the way of that, but I uh I feel like more than uh more than one customer a day laments the man DC sure is putting out a lot of Batman comics right now, perhaps too many. If any of them were bad right now, oh, I would it's destroying understand my that pulse. complaint. Yeah. Yeah. They're all They're so all good. good. <laughs> They're all written by Tom the Taylor. The Robin and... one? Oh, my God. I mean, <laughs> James Tynan, have... like, the best names in comics. There's, there's a Chip Zdarsky Red Hood, Hood story going yeah. on right now, guys. It's very good. <laughs> the entire Bat family, uh, like, f the entire Bat family family of books. Mm -hmm. Can't think of a better way to say it's it right now. That's how you say it. All good. Uh, that Nightwing book? There's a grifter story. There is a grifter story. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's a grifter story. What? Hey, let's that Unfortunately, Yeah. Uh, if, it, if you're looking for a good grifter story, you should read the, uh... You should read Batman Urban Legends. Warren Ellis, uh, The Wild Storm, uh, which <laughs> okay. is a relaunch of the Wildcats <laughs> universe yeah. prominently featuring grifter, Checking which Calvin will not read, no matter how many times I recommend it. That Because right. Calvin likes bad comics. It's true. Um, uh, that Vengeance comic? It's bad. Bad comic. Anyways, good comic. Good comic. Batman Court of Owls. Yeah, I Calvin and I Elliot came over can to both talk agree. about a panel. Tell us about the panel. Uh, Scott Snyder, probably my favorite Batman writer as well. Let Ryan talk about the panel. Too late. I forgot about the panel. I don't know what we're talking. It was about. You said there was yeah, owl Has masks. anybody won this thing yet? No, we're going no, to. No, we're still waiting. Pull the name yet. We, we've gone to a new name. Okay. So, <clears throat> Nightwing way, is so good, Dave. Way back in. Don't interrupt, Ryan. Sorry. <sighs> he can't help. I know. Continue. <laughs> way, 
way back when he first started the Court of uh, Scott Snyder first started the Court of Owls uh, storyline at SDCC that year. Uh, everybody who came in for the Batman panel had an owl mask under their seat. So they all had to take the owl mask out and wear it. And there's a picture okay. and it's all these people staring. We, and that's we all it was. That's we, do, we do have a winner. That is cool. We have a winner. Yes, we have a winner. Uh, congratulations, Sean Anderson. Sean Anderson. Anderson. Congratulations. You've run a very this good is, comic. This is beautiful. Uh, once again, Capullo, amazing. Also, I believe he drew the cover to Korn's free comic. Yes, he did. I'll be honest, that's my second favorite like Scott Snyder story for Batman. I thought you were going to say it's your second favorite I'm sorry. G- Gates of Gotham uh, is probably my favorite. Gates of Gotham is a very Korn underrated Batman story. It's this? very is good. This, the end? this is No, we have... We'll do this, and then we have one more pick a prize. Oh, okay. Well, it's Ooh. it's not really a pick a prize anymore. It's I'm Deadpool. excited about this. Prize. We've got two yeah, prizes. Too. We're gonna do the smaller one first. Okay. Um, do we want to rotate anybody back in at this point, or we good? No, I think we're good. No. Nope. All right, we're good. Calvin doesn't want any of you on this. No, oh. it's all me, baby. Ride the momentum. I, so, Marvel I a couple of years ago decided that they were going to yeah, start launching I'm events bummer. with the it's names right. of yeah. old events again. Did they decide that a couple of years ago, or has that is it always been thus? I give us David. Well, I feel like we have a winner for like, Secret Wars. We have a winner. No one's gonna let Ryan talk. Um, I'm just gonna keep fine. winning no. prizes. Uh, uh, we can I was sitting comfortably, so, and you brought me over here under the hot lights. So, Who's just to interrupt him? Who is to be blamed for winning this comic? It's I, Kyle. Technically, I won it, but <laughs> I own it. So we're gonna give it to Boyer. We're gonna Pillar make Boyer the read some more. Boyer. Okay. Boyer's the table scraps for everything. Got a bunch of Fantastic Four stuff to talk about. <laughs> Save for the book club. <laughs> Uh, when we read a Fantastic Four book, One we should read a Fantastic Four book. Final prize. One, two, three, four. What would the Fantastic Four book everybody would want to do? For it's one, two, three, four. four. I was gonna say all. Of, I was gonna boy. say parts one and two of Jonathan Hickman's run on Fantastic Four. The entirety of the Stanley yeah. Jack Kirby run of Fantastic I'm one, Four. I'm the one who thinks if people want to participate in book club, they should have to read the entire Grant Morrison new X Men omnibus. So far, I've convinced no one else who works at this. I store. mean, I think everybody should. Read I that think I would. I would do that. This is this is, this is very <laughs> funny. <laughs> it costs one hundred dollars to <laughs> enter this book club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we have and a winner for what? our last prize for it's... the pick a prize. <laughs> it is. Or should I say it or should yeah. I type it? Nah, is I it somebody in the room? <laughs> Again. Do you want another name? No, that's what just happened. It's Pillar of the Community, Nick Boyer. Nick Boyer. Nick Boyer. Big Deadpool book for Boyer. Congratulations. You got three prizes. Yeah. Three prizes. Two of them were gifted. Two of them Last were gifted. Last minute, uh, he got all those sympathy prizes, and then he won if, one of the big ones. Like I, I mean, money. in fairness, if it was reversed, I would have taken Deadpool, because I own Secret Wars. Fair enough. But Wait, we, hold on. Yeah. What's problem. done is done. Yeah. Unless Nick Boyer went to sleep. No, Boyer's in here. Unless okay. Boyer wants to just, like, swap. Seems Boyer. Like <laughs> the Deadpool Omnibus is, is truly outstanding. And uh, I think like $120 comic book value. Yeah. In, US, in US dollars, not comic book dollars. So, so yeah, Boyer, you won the answer. final prize. Congratulations. <laughs> the Joe Kelly run of Deadpool. All right. Cool. We are uh, down to it. So I am going to say real quick, we need to uh, out. thank you, friends. Thank you, friend. I need uh, the other owners and staff back on the stream real quick. Let's enjoy this brief moment while I'm alone in this serene. Wow. Nicholas environment. Yeah, just oh. sitting here enjoying all these comics. Sorry, Ryan. What I miss? I wanted to talk to you about the Fantastic Four. Uh, we'll be we'll be on with after hours with Ryan and the Fantastic Four. It's later. just Ryan. <laughs> Turn the lights <laughs> and down. The Fantastic Four. Describing panels. Wherever he went. Uh, he left. He just left. Actually, he's right. up, Ryan is gone. upset. He, left. Uh, he did not get to talk about. Ryan the is outside. Four. I literally left. I think yeah. he's actually in the. the, the, the no. <laughs> um. Oh, that was fun. Anyway. Yes, thank you everyone who shopped the Superscript <laughs> summer sale. Yeah. You guys have oh, no idea. It was a crazy what it weekend took for us to get this up and running. God, for you. this was a. So I, we, we, mm. we were setting up Thursday night at one in the morning, and the power went out. And you know, there's that silence when the power went out, and I went. Oh, 
and then the yeah. power did not come back on. No. So, and we were like, the the place was a mess. Mid we setup, had yeah. Not, it was not ready. No. It was hours and hours away from being ready. So Nick and Elliot, our heroes, heroes of the store, came in early on Friday, super early, and set up the whole store. I came in at 12.30 and at, to, to like quickly drop some things off on my lunch break from my other job. And they they somehow in that half hour worked some magic um, because it, at 12.30 they still were making signs. So if you saw this store at 1 o'clock on Friday um, and it was all put together, thanks to Nick and Elliot who made a heroic effort to get us here. <laughs> well. Please right, clap good. from home because they really pulled out the stops for you and they deserve a nap. It was, uh, yeah. Have you slept? I took a really weird nap this afternoon okay. when I left. But that, I think, messed me up more. Yeah. Um, I, I went home and tried to nap uh, for an hour when the power was out and you were ringing customers out with your cell phone. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we also lost power. Lost power uh, midday yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. Midday. yeah, but uh, thank you to the person who had the hot. Spot. Yeah, that was Nate. Nate. Moss. That was Nate Moss. Nate Moss, Nate Moss letting You're us continue to do business thank in the dark. Yeah. Thank you, everybody who continued shopping by cell phone flashlight. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I went home and was like, well, I'm just gonna leave because what am I gonna do here? And uh, tried to take a nap. Um, but we have a dog that howls. Um, at sirens. At sirens. There and were uh, there sirens. were a lot of sirens because the power was out because all the trees in Lakewood had fallen down. Yeah, so uh, so my, our dog just howled for an hour straight, and then I came back to work, and then the power came back on, and then we had Friday Night Magic and for the first time. Yeah, and it was great. But I could yeah, not, I could tell awesome. you nothing about that evening. Like if you were like, oh yeah, name a thing that happened. I just nope. Well, I saw it was like a blur. Yeah. It was great. But, yeah, so um, huge thank you to them for making this possible. Well, thank, thank you to you for shopping with us, anyone who shopped at the store. Obviously, people in this store right now shopped at the yeah, store. Yeah, thank um, you to all our friends. Because they won all the prizes. They, yeah. Thank they you, Christine, for bringing us our supplies yeah. in the middle of the and morning yesterday. Yeah, like, and then Christine running, like, freight shipments yeah. of, like, wire hangers and things yeah. to the shop, uh, giving our cat uh, insulin in the middle of the day and then returning to work. Also, I just want to read this comment aloud from a Nick Boyer. Uh, if drinking alone in your room is pitiful, I don't want to be any thong else. That's right. I don't want to be, be any thong else, else I, either. I agree. I don't want to be Nick Boyer. I don't want to so be. In this, I don't want to be any thong else. I also want to say thanks is, to Sean for always. Oh, because Gino said Nick Boyer pity of the community. Wow. Dang. That's mean. That's mean. That's mean. So wow. we're not going to end on that note. We're on not going to. We're going to say thanks to Sorry, Sean for coming in and being a breath of fresh air yes. yeah. after a um, difficult <laughs> several days. Making this stream um, happen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, thank you, you to Sean really Kyle came Wells in clutch. Yeah, Sean and, and Kyle this, uh, uh, for helping us get the, yeah, so, get the camera set up. So many thanks. That's what we have to say. I don't think oh, there's boy. really much more other than book club this week. Oh, there's book a bunch club. more to say. Book club. And then we got in a couple months... I have like a more immediate thing. Okay, more immediate thing. Uh, so uh, we have decided oh. uh, that the 50% off board games and oh, buy yeah. one get two trades and buy one get two Funko Pops and toys will remain as such through the end of business tomorrow. So if there was something you saw that you wanted that was on deep discount, you still have another day. Yeah. one more day Just to pick it up. Just the deep discount. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no Section raffle tickets, but you can grab stuff. Yeah, Fifty percent uh, off stuff. Still some good. Discount. There's some really good stuff over there yeah. still. Yep. Um, yeah. That was my immediate thing. The immediate thing. Nick's gonna talk about something happening in, in a couple months. Yeah. Exciting yeah. I was just gonna make, Yeah, just to, um, I guess keep you or give you the, I don't know what. It, the early scoop. Yes, give you the early scoop. Um, uh, free comic book day is on the horizon, so that is August. 13th, 13th and 14th, and 14th Friday, Friday the 13th Friday the 13th and Saturday that bodes um, well for us yeah yep. um, it's nothing gonna be will a midnight happen release wrong. so it'll technically still be there the might 14th. be wind in Lakewood well, and we could lose all of our but power we will again. be doing stuff earlier so it'll start over at our friends across Thank the street you. at Bottle House we'll be doing some stuff over there on the evening of the 13th yep. um, we'll have some some great some special, some guests. special guests can we get the names of some of those special guests yeah. that will be there well we Chatter have Squadron. we have 
we'll have Josh, who we've seen we'll here have from, Josh of from comics, comics generally. generally. Please look up yeah. the yeah. episodes. We'll Chatter Squadron Chatter. talking about Star Wars. Star Wars. Uh, um, we will have uh, No One's Listening podcast talking right? about some movies. Uh, I think we'll have our friends from Tabletop. Uh, board game cafe yeah. over there that night uh, doing some some live stuff. Uh, Weird realms. Yes. Uh, Back uh, and Warren. Uh, Jake Kelly and John G well, John will be G. selling oh, stuff. Oh man, I need to tell John G story. Yeah. I Sorry. raised the roof on that. Uh, John. Just so you know. John G, one of my favorite comic book artists, just artists in general, uh, an actual friend of the store. Uh, real well, friend of like, the store. <laughs> we have uh, a real friend. Uh, Not like our <laughs> fake friends. Of this um, yeah. Uh, but anyways, John came in today to pick up uh, some stuff out of his pull box. And uh, I explained, I said, I'm not sure if you were aware of the raffle. He said no. And I explained to the raffle. He's like, what do I got to do to win? I was like, you just got to watch our YouTube stream at uh, 10 o'clock. And he's like, oh, I'm not doing that. And then he left. And I just want to <laughs> give the raffle tickets to someone else. Uh, and uh, it was nice. Uh, it feels yeah. That's, was, uh, that's a very John thing, John, I feel like. Himself. That was uh, everything I could hope for from that interaction. <laughs> Uh, Thank you, John G. Celebrity and real friend of the store. Yes. Yeah. Certified friend of the store. You will get your medal. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you like a little like a blue check mark. Yeah. Certified. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So so keep uh, keep an eye out for that. Yeah. Like definitely be in town. Reserve that weekend. <laughs> Clear Come your here, calendars. Get free comics. Free books. Meet bunch of other creators, stuff. Creators, local creators. We have more. And there will be a super, even bigger raffle. That we yeah. will be able yes. to do in Guys, store. In, person yeah. in store. You can watch oh, this happen my God. while you, you are here, here, and it will take half the time. Yeah. Uh, be so we much won't easier. have to erect a studio in the middle of the store. <laughs> uh, the jokes we've all been and responding to that you can't hear at home, you'll, you'll be to able to hear them. And also, we won't have to do it at 10 o'clock at night. We could start it at like 8. A reasonable yeah. hour. In fact, Wild. we'll start it at 8. Be awesome. Sean, do you yeah. have anything to add? Uh, <laughs> all right, everybody. Um, How long on, that that? Note, <laughs> on that note, on that note, don't um, forget to come to book club. Book club this Wednesday, uh, nine thirty. We've got a constructed oh. pauper tournament in store on Tuesday for magic. Yes, and we have started something new on Tuesdays at ten o'clock. We are going live from the store to talk about the week's new comics. Yeah. yeah. So, so you can tune into a production not unlike this, a yeah. much more a sober quicker, version quicker. of this. And oh, you yeah. can also watch uh, us film the new Comic Minute. If yeah. you want to see how the sausage is made, the vegan sausage, mm -hmm. tune That's in on made. Tuesday night at 10. Uh, you can also potentially win some extra stuff in your pull box uh, on Tuesday That's true. night. Um, just by guessing how long it's going to take us to... Complete the new Comic yeah, Minute. Yeah, do the new Comic Minute. Um, and maybe we'll come up with some other ways for people to win some stuff. Um, thank you to everybody who showed up. Uh, thank yeah, you for truly. Everyone. Josh, for sticking Ryan, with us. Yeah. Bo, Kyle, Calvin, Brad, Chris Rawl, who is no longer here. Gino, who stood creepily outside the building. Oh, during, he did? Yeah. Was lurking. I missed that. Uh, That's creepy. Sean. 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 Ryan. Ryan. Yep. Ryan. 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 Okay. We have named this many times. Thanks to our friends. Thanks, thank you everyone. We just don't want it to end. You're and all the best. You know what? You you go to bed and we need to go to bed. It's time. No, we don't. All right. We um, do. I don't have a cool, funny image prepared for the end of this stream, but if I did, it would be um, a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger from Kindergarten Cop and um, like the the alien, the like fake xenomorph morph from Spaceballs. Um, yeah, that one. That, the little so one that comes out that tap dancing. As you go to sleep. That would Just be that would be the that. that would be the sign off. You can burst, uh, and then Arnold would say, "It is not a tumor." It's not a tumor. Yeah. So so, I, so I picture that. Time. Close your eyes. It's picture that. Time to cut the and off, then so. we'll hit stop. I can't believe any of you guys watched this. Even yeah. with free yeah. stuff being offered. <laughs> Thank you. When we made that joke, I looked like he was gonna cry. I mean, I might. <laughs> All right. Good night, everyone. Good night.